communities and it's one of those moments Kyle where you know the talk's over now it's the game <laughs> yes. and you know what this is what we all came for is the game and you know I don't think you have to tell that to either coaching staffs or either of the uh, players from either side either the excitement you almost could feel it's a little bit of a playoff playoff atmosphere here tonight and I know it's just one game in the regular season but yep. would you feel uh, it's got a little playoff feel to it it does uh, the hill is lined with cars I got here about 5.30 this morning, and there was already a line of cars. There was cars parked here Wednesday. <laughs> that tells you <laughs> when there's a big game in Milledgeville. They line the field up there. Amboy's got a great crowd on hand, big Milledgeville crowd on hand. The biggest crowd we probably had in years here at Milledgeville. Yeah, and, and what a great thing. What yeah. a great thing for, for both communities here to come out and see high school athletics at its best here. And I expect nothing but a just a wonderful game tonight here, hotly contested, and just both teams really – you know, really excited to see just because both coaching staffs are have prepared their teams for excellence. Yep, I know each team has had this game circled. I know since Milljill knocked off uh, Polo in week three, I believe that this one's kind of been on their radar. They tried not to get tried to not get caught looking ahead, and the missiles have not done that. They've taken care of business. Same with Amboy; they were tested in a real close battle, faced a very good Ridgewood team down in Cambridge last week. They eked that one out by a score of 48-42. So. Both teams coming in 5-0. and um, Amboy ranked number one. They've been there all year at number one. Milledgeville's up to number two. They started number three. Um, yeah, this has the makings for a great one. Last year in Amboy, uh, the Clippers won that one by a score of 40-36. So I'm expecting another game probably in that range, right in there possibly. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, you know, that's the that's part of the, the rivalry effect here that both coaches talked about here. This has developed into a great rivalry just because the games are close and both teams have had a lot of success in their football programs here with the eight-man. Yep. Milligel did lose a lot more than what Amboy did. So the talk of eight-man football is how much Amboy returns. Literally, they graduated one player off of last year's team. That's unheard of for a, a team that went to the state championship a year ago. Yeah, and so, you know, it, it'll be a tall task here. But, I, you know, I think Coach Robo talked briefly there at the pregame here. He says we're ready and we want them, and we got them right here in Milledgeville. So, you know, uh, let the chips fall where they may, but uh, looking for a great one tonight. Yep, it should be a great contest. We're still about seven minutes away from kickoff. They'll have the national anthem and all that set. But said so missiles come in, 5-0, and Amboy 5-0. and Amboy's done it by defeating Decatur Unity Christian 46 to nothing week one. At home, at River Ridge in week two, 80 to eight. At Martinsville, uh, 60 to eight win in week three. Week four, they're at Peoria Quest. They got a forfeit win in that one. And then they defeated at number four Ridgewood last week, 48-42. They come in averaging 58.5 points per game, allowing 14.5. Mildred comes in. 5-0. They had a week one win over River Ridge by a score of 48 to nothing. Week two, they knocked up Peoria Quest 64 to 14. Polo, they defeated at Polo in the big rivalry game, the trophy game, 58-22 in week three. Then they had three straight home games here. This is the third one. They had knocked off Orangeville 50 to 24, Kirkland Hiawatha 74 to 34. Last week in the homecoming game, now they host Amboy here tonight before they go to Pawnee and Decatur Luther in the next two weeks. A couple long road trips, but all eyes are on this one here tonight, Mac. Yeah, I think right here what's in front of us is what's the most important, but yeah, the, the next two weeks here will be a little bit of a test here because you'll hit the road there, but I think they really want to get this one tonight here, and we'll worry about that tomorrow, but... It uh, beautiful night too, Kyle. Oh, you know, I mean, the field looks great. Compliments to working. Yep. The field's in fabulous shape. The weather is agreeable tonight here. The pork chops are great. <laughs> it's all working out tonight. <laughs> yep, gonna be a good night for football here. Missiles come in averaging 58.8 points per game, allowing 18.8 points per game. Like I said last year Amboy knocked them off 40 to 36 in week three in Amboy. Two years ago when it was back here at Milledgeville, that was a defensive battle. Um, Milsos won that one by a score of 24 to 12. So said so both these teams are tip can play good defense, so it'll be interesting to see, but they both are loaded on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, I my, my gut feeling is here we're going to see a high scoring game here tonight. I think we could see both teams in the 30s here tonight. So I could be wrong, but uh, that's my gut feeling. Yep. Go over the starting lineups first for the Amboy Clippers. Offensively, quarterback Eddie Jones. Tailback Landon Welchel. Fullback Quinn Luffelman. Tight end Troy Anderson. Tight end Brennan Blaine. Guard Landon Montavon. Center Trey Payne. Guard Ian Sundberg. 
defensively. They got on the defensive line, Luffelman, Montavon, defensive tackle, Austin Heath, Brennan Blaine, the defensive end, linebacker, Landon Welchel, Brandon Klein, Troy Anderson at cornerback, Cody Wynn at the other quarterback. They start five players both ways, head coached by Scott Payne, Tyson Powers, Jeremy Wittenauer, Sam Jones, Alvarado Suista, and Kenny Shrimplin. They average 230 on the offensive line, 200 pounds on the defensive line. Now for the Millageal Missiles here tonight. Offensively, quarterback Connor Nye, 5'10", 190 pounds senior. Running back Mike Connor Johnson, a 5'11", 160 pounds sophomore. Fullback Micah Tom Smith, a 5'11", 180 pound junior. Tight end Carter Livingood, a 5'11", 185 pounds sophomore. Bryce McKenna at tight end, a 5'8", 160 pound senior. Guard, Dalton Adamek, 6'2", 200 pound junior. Guard, Jacob Promenchenko, 5'9", 190 pound senior. And center, Bruce Raymond, a 5'11", 240 pound senior. Defensively, missiles, yeah, defensive ends are J Jacob Promenchenko and Carter Livingood. Defensive tackles, Bruce Raymond and Dalton Adamek. Linebackers, Micah Tom Smith, Connor Nye, and Bryce McKenna, as well as Spencer Nye, a 5'4", 155-pound sophomore. Missiles, coached by Jason Roble, assisted by Brad Grenoble, Austin Caravia, Cal Lingokins, and Cameron Dautine. In the trenches, the Missiles average 210 pounds in the offensive line. Defensively, they're at 208 pounds. So we're just moments away, which should be hopefully an instant classic here tonight. The number one ranked Amboy Clippers against the number two ranked Milledgeville Missiles. Some other games around the area in the NUIC here tonight. Some good games in that as well. West Carroll is at Dakota. Forreston at Stockton and Stockton's homecoming. That's a big one up there tonight in Downey Land up there in Stockton. Uh, Galena is at number nine Fulton. EPC at Aurora Central Catholic. And the big one in the, Indian, in the NUIC tonight, Mac. Undefeated, number one state ranked in 1A, Lena Winslow at 5-0. At number seven in 3A, undefeated Dupec. Who do you got in that one there, Mac? Boy, I don't know. I, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, would, you would think uh, Lee Wynn would probably be there. They would be the odds-on favorite. But here, Dupec, uh, they've made a little noise here, and they're 5-0. So, and it's at Dupec, so that, that factors into it a little bit. But Lee Wynn's been a machine this year. So until somebody knocks him off that pedestal, I don't know. Yep, as that's a big one up at Dupac. They've been battling and a couple years ago. Dupac has beat them a couple times. They're the one of the few teams that have knocked off Lena in the recent years. As Lena's going for four straight 1A championships. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty <laughs> remarkable. I mean, everything, all, all things said, that is incredible. All right, we're going to cut away for the national anthem. We'll be back for the kickoff right here on your sports leader WCCI. back here to Floyd Dobb Field here on the campus of Millageville High School. Got a good one ready to kick off. Millageville and Amboy. Other eight-man action tonight. Pure request is at Rockford Christian Life. Decatur Unity Christian at Polo. River Ridge is at AFC. Flanagan Cornell Woodland is at Alden Hebron. Bushnell Prairie City at West Central. Ridgewood at Peoria Heights. Pawnee at Scioto West Prairie. Schlarman at Metro East. Martinsville at Blue Ridge and St. Anne at Milford. I didn't, we were caught napping there on the coin toss, Mac, of who yeah, won I, I didn't see it involved. here, but in a few minutes here, we'll, uh, we'll see how they line up here. It'll be pretty obvious. 
no wind tonight, so I don't think it's really a factor on uh, which end uh, you choose or here uh, early on here. But just a beautiful night here, clear, no rain, and uh, nice temperature. Short still. Yes. Amboy in the road, white uniforms, red helmets, white jerseys, black pants, red lettering with red and black trim. He's got the, the triple outline, the block A on the side of the Amboy helmet with the black and white stripes down the, miss, down the middle. Mildred in their alternate uniforms here tonight, an orange alternate. They wore them one other time this year instead of the typical all black that they normally wear. Black helmets, black pants with orange jerseys with black lettering and black numbers. The missile script on the side of the helmet. And looks like the missiles are going to go on defense first here. They're going to set to kick off. Back deep is going to be Brandon Klein here for the Clippers. Counter nine set to tow it up, and we're just about ready for exciting eight-man action here at Floyd Dow Field here in Milledgeville. Special teams also could be a deciding factor in this one too, man. off of this. Knight toes it up, going to kick it out of bounds. We'll see if Amboy, looks like they're just going to take the ball there, Mac, as they're sending the offense out. Yeah, I think you're right. They'll uh, they get pretty good starting field position there. and So I believe be at their own 35-yard line, I do believe. Or like I said, they could choose to re-kick. Does not look like they're going to. So first and 10 for the Clippers. Ball on their own 35-yard line. Eddie Jones be a quarterback, led by Landon Welchel and Quinn Luffelman. If I had a bet man, it's going to be Luffelman in the first carry. Uh, you I think, think you're right. I think he'll, we'll they see could a lot it, of him. Could air it out here to Blaine, too, if they go play action right away. Eddie Jones underneath, and it's going to be Luffelman. Luffelman off the side. Going to be short gain there, maybe one, maybe two. Spencer Nye on the tackle. Well, no surprise there, Luffelman there off the off the right side there, off tackle, and nice job by the missiles, just a one yard gain. Gonna have to stop this potent Amboy offense. Just underway here, first quarter, Floyd Dobfield, Milledgeville and Amboy. Eddie Jones under center, I formation behind him. Gonna hand it, Luffelman again, stacked up after another gain of about three. It's gonna be third down and five here. Big down and distance here for the missiles. Third and five, ball on the Clipper 40 yard line. Gonna go split wide receiver to the left is Anderson. Blaine split out far to the right. Shotgun formation for Jones this time, empty backfield. Gonna be thinking they're gonna go to Blaine here or Jones just on a quarterback keeper. Gonna air it out for Tom Smith and cannot come up with a great coverage down the field by Mike and Tom Smith, Mac. Beautiful, stride beautiful for stride coverage. with him. Beautiful coverage there. He didn't play the receiver, not play the ball there, and that was nice job there. Boy, that's a huge stop for the missiles. It looks like they're going to force Amboy to a three and out here. Fourth and five for the Clippers. Back to punt is Luffelman. One thing watching on film, I couldn't tell who their punter was because, to be honest, I don't know if I've seen Amboy punt this year, Mac. Well, that, that's usually <laughs> a sign of a really, really good team if you don't see a lot of punting. But as Luffelman airs it out, short punt, and going to be down. This is going to have good field position. There's a flag on the play. Looks like Amboy had a legal formation or false start. A false start. But I think the missiles are going to decline I that. Mac. I think I would decline that too. Not a real favorable bounce there for the Clippers there. So. Looks like they are. Oh, they are going to make him kick. Wow. I think uh, I think the potency of them, Michael Tom Smith there, they'd yeah, love to give it. Get the the missiles, ball you hand. know, the missiles are known for the return game here. Yeah, that's right. They want to get it in his hand and get to the blockers, and then it's a foot race. But we'll see. Missiles could have had a first and 10 on their own 42. We'll see if that pays off. So it's now fourth and 10 for the Clippers. Ball back to their own 35. Luffelman back to punt. Micah Tom Smith back to receive it. Good snap. Punt away and a much better kick. And boy, that's going to come back to bite the missiles, Mac. Yeah. As Tom no. Smith's going to let it roll all the way down inside the 15 yard line. Boy, and they're going to have to down it there. Boy, what a big swing in field position there. Yeah. 
we both kind of commented there. We questioned the decline, uh, the taking the penalty there, and it it does come back to bite the missiles there early. Yep, here, Micah so. was up too far there. Could not if he would have been back further to receive that punt. He would have had plenty of room, but it went over his head. Missiles are going to have a first and ten ball on their own 13 yard line. So. See how the missiles offense attack can come out. Thank you, Brian. Said River Ridge at AFC is the late switch to tomorrow at 1 p.m. due to official shortage. Nye under center. Going to add it to Tom Smith. And Tom Smith's out of the open. He's across the 40, 50, 45. Going to be tracked down there by number seven, Anderson. Tom Smith with a big gainer for the missiles to start it, Mac. Well, just one man to beat there, and he, he tried to make a move on him there, but a touchdown saving tackle there. But Michael Tom Smith there with an early off tackle and explosive speed there. That, that, that just kind of equalized that field position disadvantage. Oh, mercy. 39 yards for Tom Smith off the left side there. First and 10 for the missiles. Ball on the clipper, 37-yard line. Nye under center, split back behind him. Going to feed Tom Smith again. That's time he's met right at the line of scrimmage by a host of clippers led by Blaine. Austin Heath in there as well, and Montavon. Well, you wonder if he was a little out of breath there, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Two carries in a row there, but uh, second and 10 here, but Missiles here with the early momentum. No gain on that play. They give him a short gain there. They call it second nine on the board. Ball on their own 30, on the Clippers 37. Nye under center. Going to hand it to Johnson. Johnson off the right side. Cuts back now to the left. Goes against the green. Makes another man miss. He's down inside the 20, inside the 15, but a late flag. As that's going to come back, but that should be close to a first down yardage. Boy, the missiles didn't have to throw that block down there, Mac. I couldn't uh, see if he did get him in the back or not. Yeah, that's a, usually what you see there is that push in the back, hands to the back. Johnson got free, was tackled down near the two-yard line. Gonna be a block in the back here. So it's not gonna be enough for a first down because it's near the stick. So it's gonna be second down and gonna be get a few yard gain on that play. Big penalty. That's one thing that's been the bugaboo for the missiles this year is the penalties. Yeah, those are definitely drive killers is when those penalties come in. Oh, so it's gonna be about a loss of one there. So 10 yard penalty. Now the missiles showing explosive offense here early on here. Kyle, it, you really got to like the start here for the missiles. Boy, could have had it down to the two-yard line. Penalty backs him up to the 38. First, second down and 11 now for the missiles. Nye going to hand it to Tom Smith. Smith up the middle. Boy, about lost that ball there, Mac. Montavon with the tackle. Tom Smith picks up. Well, you got to believe it's four down territory here, Kyle, so I doubt the missiles put it up in the air here, but... The running game's really been effective here early on for the Missiles. Yep, third down and nine for the Missiles. Ball on the Clipper, 36-yard line. 8.56 to go here in this opening quarter. We're still scoreless. Yeah, like nine, shotgun formation, two to the right, one to the left. Pistol formation. Johnson behind him in the backfield. Nye takes it, going to get it to Johnson. Johnson out in space and going to be tackled after a short gain there by Montavon. Going to be fourth down. Just, get, just a gain of one on that one. Fourth down and now eight for the missiles. Ball on the Clipper 35-yard line. So missiles could have had a first and goal inside the five-yard line, but a block in the back, back this drive up. Now they're trying to make them pay here. Double tight end set, eye formation. Now they spread it. Living good to Tom Smith out to the right. McKenna and Johnson to the right. Shotgun formation for Nye. He takes a snap. Just going to be a quarterback draw. Nye makes one man miss. Makes another man miss. Jukes another man down inside near the 20-yard line. First and 10 missiles. What a great QB draw there by Nye there. He read his blockers. A nice job getting the first down here. Moving the sticks for the missiles. About 18-yard line. 17-yard gain there for Connor Nye. The Amboy line did a good job, stacked it up first, but he made one cut there, and then the well, they, seas kind of parted there, Matt. Yeah, they did a nice job of spreading the field out there and letting Nye get space. Shotgun formation for Nye once again. Tom Smith in the backfield with him. Nye takes a snap and decides to pull it. Now it's not the right move all over that one. Is 
Montavon and 21 in there. Luffelman, yep. Be a loss of two for Nye on that one. Luffelman did a great job on that defensive end there, back of reading Nye, if he was going to hand that to Tom Smith on that read yeah, option. He, he kind of blew that play up a little bit there. Nye just kind of had to tuck the ball under there and not fumble it. Second down and 12. Ball back onto the 21 of the Clippers. Nye under center. Pro formation. Nye going to keep it around the left side and going to have a nice gainer. Good hard run there. Tackled by Klein. Be third and about four. About eight for Nye on that one. Almost a little trap there, Kyle. You kind of see that kind of old school football there. It was a trap there to the left side there, and Nye did a nice job of finding the hole. Ball just inside the 13-yard line, it looks like. About near the 12. Double tight end set. Split backs behind Nye, who's under center. Now going to hand it to Johnson. Johnson off the left side. Going to be met right at the line of scrimmage. Falls maybe forward for a short gain. And it's going to be fourth down. And three. Good job that time by the Clippers there. Stringing that one out. And another big fourth down here for the Missiles. Fourth and three. Ball just inside the 12-yard line. Looks like they got to get about to the nine. Six minutes to go here in this opening quarter. Double tight end set. I formation behind Nye, who's under center. Nye, just a quarterback sneak up the middle, and they push the pile, still pushing the pile, and he's going to have the first down, Mac, by the roar of the missile crowd on that sideline. I think so there, and I think if the line judge over there on the far side, our old friend Jerry Whitney over there on the far side uh, calls first down, first and goal for the missile. Gain of five on the quarterback sneak. That's getting it done on that offensive line there, Mac. Yeah, that's just surging ahead there, and I just did a nice job of keeping the legs churning. 5.30 to go here, opening quarter. First and goal for the Missiles. Ball on the Clippers' seven-yard line. Double tight end set. Split backs in the backfield. Nye once again under center. Uh, roll out to the right, and he's going to throw it. It's intercepted! Intercepted inside the five. And, boy, he was looking for Johnson, I believe, or living good. But what a big play interception by number seven. Troy Anderson. Yeah, the turnover bug bit the missiles there. Done a nice job there with the drive. Got it inside the red zone there, but the turnover bug bit him, and the Clippers take over first and 10 on the 10. Boy, what a defensive stand there by the Clippers. Missiles got a little greedy there. Maybe we'll roll them with the play. They've been doing all right on the ground there, Mac. You decided to roll them out with the play Get action. Out, open it up. And I think he had Living, or Living Good open behind him, but he did a great job, and now a tough run there by Welchel. Tackled by Living Good. Welchel's first carry. So now the momentum swinging back towards Amboy's way. Gain of about seven there for Welchel. Well, just what we anticipated, Kyle. It's not going to be easy either no, way. Both teams making some big plays early in this one. Second and about four. Ball on their own. This will be about 16-yard line, it looks like. Under center is Jones. Going to handle it to Luffelman. And Luffelman's off to the races down the sideline. He breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. He's near the, across the 50-yard line. First and 10 for the Clippers. All the way to the... Oh, wait, nope. He stepped out before midfield. Looks like Jerry Whitney's got him back there, Mac, about... It looks like the line not cross yes. midfield. Yeah, that, hey, that's a big moment actually there. That cuts about 20 yards off the yep. run. Back at about the 39-yard line. So about 23 there for Luffelman. First and 10, Amboy ball on their own 38-yard line. 4-12 to go here in this opening quarter. So now, he said Amboy. Got the momentum all on their side after the big interception in the red zone. They get it deep out of their own end of the field. They're already up to the, their own 38-yard line. Double tight end set for Jones. I formation behind him. Jones 
Takes a snap, gonna hand it to Welchel. Welchel off that side, does a good job. Tom Smith, after a gain of about one. Second and nine from their own 39. Three twenty-four to go here in this opening quarter. We'll check other scores as we get them throughout the night as well. If you're listening and know a score, go ahead and send it to me or just give a shout out if you guys are tuning in as well. We always appreciate that. Second and nine for the Clippers. Jones under center, eye formation once again behind him. Jones gonna do Blaine. Blaine around the left side. He's got room to run out there. Spencer Nye's gonna get him down, but after a big gain there. Boy, nice little reversal there. They reverse the field there and great job by Blaine there just 12 yards there for Blaine on the tight end end around there Mac yeah kind of like almost a wing T in that formation with the he does carry the ball quite often for him there Volchel and Luffelman are the workhorses but he is a dynamic player through the air and on the ground Jones shotgun formation four wide receivers this time Luffelman goes in motion Jones back to pass Gonna throw it off the hands of Luffelman. Polo up eight to nothing. Thank you, Mike. Second down and now 10 for the Clippers. 2.34 to go in this opening quarter. We'll still scoreless here, Mac. How about that? Yeah, a lot of action, but no <laughs> scoring. Second down and 10. Ball on the missiles, 49-yard line. Taking their time coming out of the huddle here, but still got 14 seconds on the play clock here as they break the huddle. Double tight end set, I formation. Jones under center. Oh, and they're gonna get five yards on the missiles. Yeah, there's second the, the, penalty on the two penalties now on the missiles. Turnover bug there, that'll that turnover bug and penalties. That's not a way to win a big game, Mac. No, it isn't. It isn't. And but, it just puts you at such a disadvantage when those things start working for you. Yep, so now second and five for the Clippers. Ball on the missile, 44-yard line. Jones under center. Going to hand it to Welchel. Welchel going to be near close to a first down. Tackled by Promenschenkel. Going to be about third and two. Give him three there for Welchel. No doubt, four down territory here too, Mac. One would think. Jones under center, double tight end set, I formation. Jones gonna drop back to pass, and he's got room to run it. Uh, and he's gonna throw it, he's got Blaine, and Blaine's open down inside the 20 yard line. Jones to Blaine. Blaine, big target out there. Nice Jones put that Jones. one right on the money. Nice job of finding the big tight end. So 22, 24 yard gain there. Ball on the 19 yard line to Blaine's first catch of the ball game. First and 10 for the Clippers. They're now in the red zone at their own, at the Missiles 19 yard line. 141 to go here in this first quarter. Middle drill zero and boy zero. Amboy went three and out their first possession. Missiles drove it down inside the 10 and turned it over. Now the Clippers on the march here. Jones under center. Wing to the right. Jones gonna hand it to Luffelman. Bounces off one tackle. Dragging a couple more missiles. Good hard run there by Luffelman. Tackled by McKenna before he chugs ahead for six yards or so. Second down and four. One minute to go here in this first quarter. Second and four. Ball on the missile 13-yard line. Wing to the left this time. Luffelman behind Jones. Going to take it again off the left side. And he's going to break through the tackle. Counter Nye, but tackled there by Spencer Nye. Gain a one there for Luffelman. Third down and three, now ball on the missile 12 yard line. We'll have to run one more play here. So we're down to the final 25 seconds. Play clock 
just ahead of the game clock here. Zambruski comes in, sub, that's, he's an extra tight end there, going to go power here. I formation, double tight end set. Jones under center. Going to hand it to Welchel. Welchel makes a cut, and he's going to have the first down, I believe. Be first and goal for the Clippers. See what six-yard line, gain a six there for Welchel. And that's going to do it here. After one quarter of play, Amboy 0, Milledgeville 0. Be first and goal for the Clippers on the missile six-yard line when we come back to start this second quarter. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local country financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. Looking for top-notch local computer sales and repair services? Call Adams Experts in Quincy at 217-214-3423 for fast, friendly, and affordable assistance. We make technology work. That's Adams Experts, your go-to when your computer goes down. Welcome back here to WCCI. First and goal for the Clippers. Jones shotgun formation. Blaine goes in motion. Going to be the toss sweep to Blaine. Blaine going around the corner. Going to be met there. And a late flag comes in. And he's down near the one or two yard line. We'll see what the flag is. Living good on the tackle. Hold here on the Clippers. Well, there's, there's, there's a big penalty here. Both teams been inside the red zone, Kyle. Here in the turtle or the play, the penalty bug has kind of bit them and killed some momentum. So, so, so missiles get a break there. Like I said, missiles had a good drive there, hurt by penalties earlier. Now Amboy does. So it's now first and goal. Ball back on the 15 yard line. 14 to nothing. Lee win. Dunker had a 75 yard run in that one. Jones under center. Going to drop back to pass. Jones throws it to. Incomplete, looking for number 58, covered there by McKenna. Going to be second and goal from the 15. Tried to sneak Vincent Zembruski, the tight end out there in the middle there. Couldn't hook up there. A little pressure by the missile defensive line. Second and goal from the 15. I formation, Jones under center. Luffelman and Welch on the backfield. Going to hand it to Welch. Welch off the left side. Pushes four. Good hard run there. Tackled by Livingood. Gain about five. Now third down and goal. We're gaining about three there maybe. Can't, looks like ball's maybe on the 11. Now defense has been on the field a long time here, Kyle. Here It would be a great stand here if they could... Third Hold the Clippers from being into the end zone here, but a little tensious here. Third and third and goal from the 10. Third and goal, four wide receivers split out for Jones and the Clippers here. Shotgun formation, and he's alone in the backfield. Jones takes the snap, going to look to his right. Still looking, going to air it out to Blaine, and well off the mark there. Some contact between Nye and Blaine, but pass falls incomplete. I think that was uncatchable. Yeah, I, was just, the, I mean, that ball was five yards out of bounds in that corner of the end zone there. So going to be... I think yep. it was a good no call. Yep, some kind of... Connor now is running right with Blaine there. So now fourth and goal from the 11. What do the coach Payne and the Clippers have dialed up here? Three wide receivers to the right. Luffelman split out one to the left here. I got to be thinking that's where they're going to go, Matt. Yeah, I think you're right. They're going to try that play maybe again. Or Jones could run it up the middle. That's going to be pressure to the backfield. Provincial has a late throw up and incomplete. Missile's going to defensive stand. 
Kromenschenkel just about had the sack on Jones. He got away to Blaine, but it went through Connor Nye's hands, who almost had the interception there. Which, I guess at the end, that's probably okay that it went incomplete yep. here. The turnover on down, so missiles take over. So both teams get deep into the other team's territory. <laughs> Didn't we say this was going to be a defensive battle, Mac? No, I... I <laughs> <laughs> it's early, Kyle. So missiles once again start deep. They started deep last time in their own territory. Had to march it all the way down there before a turnover. When you roll together the halftime stats, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of yardage here, yes. but no points. First and ten for the missiles. Double tight end set. Split backfield in the backfield. Now I'm going to hand it to Johnson. Johnson off the left side trying to get the edge. Chased down there by Luffelman. Short gain on the play. Gain of about two there for Johnson. Second down and eight. 10.43 to go here in quarter number two. We're still scoreless. Milligil and Amboy. Some penalties hurt both offensive drives, Mac. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It just took the wind out of their drives, and they just couldn't recover from those penalties. Nye under center, going to hand it to Tom Smith. Tom Smith runs through one tackle, but Mel Blaine and Welch will bring him down after another short gain. Going to be third and pretty long here for the missiles. About six. One gain. Blaine and Welch on the stop. Third down six as Blaine's helmet went off, Max, so he has to come out there at defensive end. Yeah, you wonder if that, uh, you know, you know that, and you're going to run at whoever the sub was that come in the game. It was a Bruski in for him on that defensive end spot. Third and six for the Missiles ball on their own 15-yard line. 10.09 to go first half. Nye shotgun formation, four wide receivers to the right. Nye going to keep it right up the middle. He's going to be short. Ball is out, but recovered there by the Missiles. Promenschenkel. But he's going to be short of the line to gain. Uh, about a yard or about a yard. What do you do here? Got to think uh, you're punting I from think here. you got to punt it away here and bring your defense back on the field here. And But you're still going to give the Clippers very, very good field position here. Fourth and one for the Missiles. Ball on their own 20-yard line. It is punt formation. Adamick out to punt. It doesn't look like the, the Clippers are going to have anybody deep. Back. Nope, they're yeah, going to they play their base defense. Adamant gets it away, and the punt's blocked. The punt is blocked, and it's going to bounce into the end zone. We'll see who jumps on it. Going to go out of the bounds for a safety, I do believe, Mac. I think that's probably good news, all things considered, the way that play is. If it's going to be a safety, I want or, the is missiles it, punt. or is it come out on a... Is it a safety, or is safety. it come out? Safety, yep, safety. Punt went through the end zone there. I'm not sure if a missile player might have just kicked it out of the end zone, which is a smart play. You don't want an Amboy Clipper to fall on it. Exactly. Take the two, give the two points up rather than the touchdown. Just like we had dialed up, the first points of the ball game is a safety, Mac. Wow. <laughs> so at the 9:34 mark, the missiles have had issues. That they've only punted a few times this year, and I know they had one blocked earlier. So that's something that's got to be cleaned up here for the missiles. So a safety. 9:34 to go in the second quarter. Blocking the punt. And Amboy will get the ball. So Amboy leads two to nothing after the safety. I did not see the number who got that. Almost was a pretty low kick that Adamant yeah. got away. I, I kind of wonder if it went off the back of a missile player. It could have. It hit him and bounced straight back towards the end zone. So Amboy or Missiles will now have a free kick, and they got to kick all the way from their own 20-yard line here, Max. So the Clippers are going to get good field position coming out of this as well. Big swing and momentum there. Let's see who's going to do the free kick is going to be Adamic from his own 20. Going to line up for a punt, pretty much as what it goes to. Adamick toes it up, gets it away. Punt going to be fall about the 45, 50 yard line. Ball's free. The ball is free. The missiles might have it. The missiles might have it. Let's see what the call is. Wow. Missile ball. Missile ball. Spencer Nye comes away with it. Bounced off a clipper there, Mac, and the missiles dove on it. What a, what a turn of events there. You just felt like the clippers were going to get the ball about at midfield, and it's the missiles to get the ball at midfield here. So 
The missiles uh, can seize the moment here. Boy, this game is <laughs> all kinds of twists and turns in it here. First and 10 for the missiles, ball on the 50 yard line. Nye under center, double tight end set, split backfield in the behind him. Nye gonna fake it, now roll out the pass. Nye gonna look to run. Nye's got room, he's across the 45, across the 40, down near the 37 yard line or so. First and 10 for the missiles. Nice job by Nye there, recognize that he had the wide side of the field there and tucked it under and just took it to the wide side of the field. 9.20 to go, first and 10 for the missiles. Gain of 12 there for Nye. First and 10, ball in the Clipper 38 yard line. 9.15 to go here in this opening half. Amboy 2, Millersville 0. It's not a hockey score. No. It's a football game. <laughs> yes. Nye going to keep it around the side, and Blaine's going to get him in backfield. He gets away from him, but Luffelman and 53 Heath. Tough run there for Nye, but he's going to end up losing about three on the play. Second down and 13. Clippers were all over that one. Blaine did a nice job stringing that one out. Eight thirty-five here. Snappy game here. Both teams run the ball really well, and yep, it uh, game moves right along here. So, you know, you just don't get a lot of opportunities when both teams are running the ball like they are. Second and thirteen. Nye drops back to pass. Some confusion there. Nye gonna have to just tuck it and take what he can get. As boy, he's probably lucky to get back to line yep, of scrimmage he got, there. He a turn little it bit into better. a gain of about two. Yeah. That broken play there, and Nye did a nice job of just getting it back. And Third and 11 now, like I said, a broken play. Somebody did not run the right route, or Nye turned the wrong way, not sure what. Third down 11, eight minutes to go here in this opening quarter. Amboy two, Milledgeville zero. Nye receives the play call from Coach Grenoble. Third and 11, not the down and distance you want to be in. Three to the right, one to the left. Shotgun formation for Nye. Nye drops back to pass. Nye throws it and nearly intercepted. Getting a hand on that one was Klein. And got to think the missiles will punt here, Mac. Well, I don't know. They're, they're I don't know. This it's fourth and 11. That's, that's a long, long distance to gain. You're at the inside the 40, so a lot of times you don't punt when you're there. So it looks like the missiles are maybe going to go for it. This is one of those. Uh, After seeing the moments. punt formation the last time, maybe that's a wise decision. <laughs> Well, I take probably, a timeout here. Yeah, that's probably the best call of the night here is call a timeout and we'll talk about it and think about it a little bit. Yep, 7.35 here to go in quarter number two. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout on your sports leader, WCCI. Welcome back here to Floyd Downfield. Big fourth down here for the Missiles. Fourth and 11, ball on the Clipper 39-yard line. See what Coach Grenoble and the Missiles have dialed up. They got an update there from Lee Wynn, Mac. 22 nothing here, Lee Wynn. Uh, early second quarter. Yeah, early second quarter, really pushing their, uh, pushing their weight around again tonight. So see what the Missiles come out with. It's 7.35 to go in quarter number two. Still, Missiles still scoreless here. Amboy with only two points on the board. Shotgun, pistol formation. McKenna split to the right, Tom Smith to the left. Living good in there at tight end. Johnson in the backfield behind Nye. So they can protect Nye. Nye's gonna roll out to the left and he's gonna throw it and it's falls incomplete. Looking for Tom Smith. And he had him too. He had him, but under yeah. pressure there to throw it. Nye couldn't get enough on it. Well, and the Clippers get another defensive stand. Yeah, a little underthrown there, but nice job by Tom Smith. Diving for the ball, but just a little underthrown there. And Missiles turn it over. Big stop there for the Clippers, Mac, after they botched that free kick the Missiles had, giving them good field position, but they only allow six yards, get a stop. Jones under center, I formation, Welchel, and Welchel's off to the races. Welchel's gonna take it to the house. He's across the 40, 30, 
20. Welch is going to go for a Amboy touchdown. 61 yards. Welch off a left, left tackle. Great job there by the line. He had, got, once got through that initial line, Mac, he was yeah, off to the races. He bounced it to the outside there, and then it just becomes a foot race, and it just doesn't matter when uh, the missiles just had too much ground to give up, get it caught up there. So, Welch will go 61 yards. Now an all-important two-point conversion can make it a two-score game here with the safety. Jones under center, eye formation behind him. Jones rolls out. He's going to be sacked in the backfield there by Spencer Nye. Missiles get a big stop there. 7-18 to go in the second quarter. Amboy 8, Millville 0. We'll be back on your sports leader, WCCI, after this short timeout. We might look we back. We were trying to get pregnant. We were struggling the first year, and then when we got pregnant, I stayed at MDH and through labor and now for pediatrics. My experience was nothing short of phenomenal. I met, was met with amazing staff members who helped me through concerns that I had when she was first born, helping me learn how to be a new mom. It was really reassuring and comforting knowing that I had so much support and kindness around me. My entire pregnancy at MDH was amazing. The water and hole in downtown Augusta is open and says good luck all area teams this season. Stop in for a cold drink Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 1 a.m. with happy hour 4 to 6. Then Saturday, 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. You can watch the game there today. If you aren't there, get there. And Sunday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Water and Hole says good luck to all area teams. Welcome back here. The Amboy kick goes out of bounds. See what Coach Robel going to do here. Going to just send the offense out, it looks like. At least early on here, Kyle, I think special teams of both ways have kind of been a rack for both teams. Yeah. I mean... And then it's what neither team has gotten a lot of game action with that, Mac. Like no, I said, when no, neither of these the teams have here, to punt or punt return very often. But the fumble here yes. at midfield and, yep. you know, we... Pun out of, or kick out of bounds. It just hasn't been good. First and 10 for the Missiles. Ball on their own 35. Nye goes back to Tom Smith, and he's met at the line of scrimmage. Amboy's defense really stepping up here the last couple yeah. series here, Matt. Yeah, they've really plugged that center up there. And Mike and Tom Smith there. You know, one. No, nowhere to go there. Not even a full yard. Let's call it second and nine. Blaine, Montavon, Heath in there. Zimbruski. Making it tough sledding here for the Missiles. They broke some runs early, Mac, but ever since then, they've been held in check. 6.45 to go here in this first half. Nye under center, double tight end set. Two running backs in the split back behind him. Be pitched to Spencer. Spencer Nye off the right side. Following his blockers, but he's going to be met after another short gain there. Montavon and Klein in there on the stop. Gain of one there for Nye. Spencer Nye on that carry. So third and eight for the Missiles. Amboy defense flying to the ball here so far in this one. So we approach six minutes to go here in quarter number two. Amboy eight, Milledgeville zero. Double tight end set. Nye and Johnson behind Connor Nye who's under center. And timeout missile is going to use their second timeout here. 5.51 to go here in quarter number two. We'll be back on your sports leader WCCI after this 30 second timeout.
Mason to his right out of the shotgun formation is Connor Nye. Takes a snap, drops back to pass. Nye throws the screen to Johnson. Johnson trying to make one man miss, and we got a late flag here, and he's going to be short of the first down. You got a lineman downfield here, I'm guessing, on that center screen. Got to believe Amboy will decline it anyway. An eligible man downfield. Yeah. An eligible man downfield. They are going to accept it because he was going to be, I don't know, fourth and four or five maybe. So now third down and 12. Third missile penalty for 20, for 20 yards already in the ballgame. 5.45 to go in the ballgame. Third and 12. Ball on their own 30. Three-yard line, it looks like. Connor Nye and the missiles break huddle here. Clippers have owned the second quarter here so far. Three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. As now Living Good gets closer to the line of scrimmage, going to line up in the tight end spot. Nye takes a snap, going to look to air it out. Still looking, still looking. Throws it to McKenna, McKenna's got it! McKenna's gonna have a first down to midfield. Big conversion, nigh to Bryce McKenna. 17 yards on that one, big play there, Mac. Yeah, nice patience there by Nye in the pocket there. Thought he might tuck it under and run there, but he found McKenna there across the middle of the field there, kind of on a slant there. And actually, new life for the missiles. New life is actually, yes. you reset the downs and move the chains. First and 10 for the Missiles, ball right at midfield here. Five minutes to go, so you know maybe t time clock becomes maybe an issue here before half, but Missiles on the march. Shotgun formation, two to the left, one to the right. Nye takes a snap, gonna be just a quarterback keeper off the left side. Nye's got some room to run. He's bolt, dozes one player, and he's down inside the 40 yard line. Well, new life here for the Missiles here. I thought Nye was about a four or five yard gain there, but he turns into about 12 yard gain. 12 yards there for Connor Knight. First and 10 for the Missiles. It's about where the drive stalled out last time. First and 10 for the Missiles, ball on the 38 yard line. New life coming out of that timeout, Kyle. Good timeout here by the Missiles here. They seem like they've just kind of got a new uh, resurgence here. 4.25 to go in this first half. Two to eight to nothing, Amboy on top of the missiles. Nye just gonna be a quarterback keeper off the right side. Makes a nice cut, makes one man miss, makes another man miss. He's down inside the 30. See where they mark him down there. 23, 15 more yards for Nye there, Mac. Yeah, he's, he's done a real nice job here in this drive here, called his own number here, but First and 10 for the Missiles ball on the Clipper 23 yard line. Shotgun formation for Nye, two to the left. Nye takes a snap, gonna just run it one more time with Nye, this off the left side, tucks it, gonna have another nice gainer. Really nothing fancy there nope. from the Missiles here. Nye's working right and left Five. side of the field here. And Five more yards though. It's been very, very effective here. I think it's a little bit of over pursuit here from yep from uh, Amboy here. Third and five, or second down and five, ball on the Clipper, 18 yard line. Double tight end set. Nye under center now, Johnson the lone back behind him. Nye gonna do the pitch to Johnson. Johnson weaves out of traffic, makes one man miss, but not the next one. Welchel on the stop. And he's gonna gain two, about third and three. Third down and three. From the so third down and three, ball on the Clipper 16 yard line. Three minutes to go here in this first half. Low scoring defensive battle like we all assumed with these teams averaging 58 points a game. Max. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a fast track too. Yes. Nye under center, split back behind him. Gonna hand it Spencer Nye, Spencer Nye right up the middle. He's gonna have a first down and some more. Down inside the 10 yard line. It's gonna be first and goal for the Missiles. Well, great play call there. They ran Nye to the outside, both left and right side, and then bring Spencer right up the gut there and as a quick hitter. First and goal for the Missiles, the second time they've had that. Ball on the Clippers, seven yard line. Nye under center, eye formation behind him. You're gonna hand it to Spencer Nye, he's met in the backfield. Nicely there by 53, Heath Nye through there. And gonna be no gain on the play, maybe a loss of one. Looks like no gain. Second and goal from the seven. 
This is where the yardage really gets tough, Mac. It, it does. You earn <laughs> every, every foot here at this point, but missiles right inside the red zone here. They're, they got to get points here, Kyle. So we approach two minutes, 2.05 on the clock as the missiles come to the line of scrimmage. Double tight end set, eye formation, Nye under center. Nye just going to keep it, quarterback sneak, short gain. It looks like about two. Yeah, it looks like he's going to spot it at about the five-yard line here for the missiles. So Third and goal, ball on the clipper, five-yard line. 140 and counting here. He said now you can use a little bit of that clock here, Mac, if you want. 20 seconds on the play clock as they come to the line. McKenna split out to the right. Shot pistol formation for Nye and the Missiles. Nye going to take the snap, going to fake it, and throws it to Johnson. Wide open. Missile. Touchdown. What a play call there. A little razzle-dazzle. Nye to counter Johnson, and the Missiles are on the board. Well, great job by the Missiles there. They were definitely anticipating run there, and Johnson wide open out there in the end zone. Fire up the air raid siren here at Milledgeville. Now the all-important two-point conversion. 1.18 to go in this first half. Amboy 8, Milledgeville 6. Swings, wild swings, Mac, in this game. Wild, <laughs> wild swings. <laughs> Double tight end set. Now Nye goes back out. Pistol formation. Johnson in the backfield behind him. Nye opens the wrong way. Going to tuck it and run. Throws it up to Livingood. Pass falls incomplete. Actually batted and intercepted there by number seven, so the Clippers get a big stop there. 118 to go in this first half. Amboy 8, Millageville 6. We'll be back on the Area Sports Network, on the Area Sports Leader, WCCI, after this short break. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential, with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. ice for your upcoming event look no further midwest ice has you covered midwest ice is central illinois newest ice delivery service we deliver ice directly to your event call blaine wrench at 309-351-8192 for a quote today welcome back here to wcci your sports leader missiles answer matt a big answer converting a third what was about third and 11 down there that yeah. they completed to keep that drive alive yeah a couple good good conversions there by the missiles or but two-point conversion you hope that doesn't come back to bite him there but uh you get this feeling kyle this game's not going to be over in the third quarter here it's going to go right down to the very very end yep. of the fourth somewhere so all important possession here and missiles will get the ball to start the second half so Big key here, they can keep the Clippers off the board here this final 118, but that's going to be easier said than done as the Clippers offense has started to click here. Nice, set to tow it up. Klein back to receive it for the Clippers. Nye boots it deep right down the middle of the field. Klein's going to field it about his 20-yard line. Klein got a seam, good return. He's up across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Sarber and Nye on the tackle. Good field position here for the Clippers. They got a minute 11 on the clock here to do something. I believe they have all three timeouts, don't they, Max? Yeah, I believe you're right, Kyle, here. I think that's very key here if you want to try to get down there. But be interesting here how the Clippers use those timeouts. I'm sure they're going to use them all here before half. Thank you, Joe Letty, for listening. 16 nothing, Forrest and over Stockton at the half. Jones, shotgun formation. Two to the left, one to the right. Now Blaine comes in motion. Jones just going to be a quarterback sneak up the middle, and he gets away from one, but tackled there by Livingood. Going to be a gain of about five there for Jones. And timeout, Amboy. One minute to go here in this first half. Amboy 8, Mildred 6. We'll be back on your sports leader, WCCI, for this 30-second timeout.
Welcome back here to Floyd Dobb Field. Kyle Leach run by Mark McEnber. Second down and five for the Clippers. Ball on their own 48-yard line. One minute to go in this first half here, Mac. Jones shotgun formation. Three to the right, one to the left, and that's Blaine split out to the left, guarded by counter nine. Jones going to do a pump fake for Blaine, and now just going to take it down and run and going to get out of bounds there, pushed out of bounds by Living Good. Close to a first down here, we'll see. About half a yard short, maybe. Be third down and one. Four more there for Jones. Third down and one here for the Clippers. He got out of bounds, stops the clock. 54 seconds remaining. See what Coach Payne has dialed up here. Amboy leads eight to six. The difference, the plot, punt block for a safety, Mac. Yeah, exactly. Here and Jones just going to do a quarterback sneak. He's going to have the first down there. The clock's going to become an issue here for the Clippers here. I don't know if the clock even started there, Kyle. No, it does. Now wind the clock. First and ten for the missiles. Two-yard gain there for Jones. Jones going to drop back to pass. He's got time. Going to throw to the big tight end, just falls off his fingertips, incomplete. 40 seconds remaining. Second down and 10, ball on their, on the missiles, 42 yard line it looks like. 40 seconds remaining, Amboy still with two timeouts. Jones, moves back to the huddle here. Great atmosphere here at Floyd Dobb Field here tonight. Number one versus number two. Shotgun formation for Jones. Three to the right, one to the left. Blaine split out to the left here once again. Got to think could be going there again, Mac. Jones looking to the right. Now he's going to come back to the left, and he airs it out looking for Loveman, and he's got it. Loveman down inside the 10, inside the 5. What a fingertip catch, and what a ball by Jones. What a, Mac. What a ball thrown by Jones. That was fantastic thrown ball, but... Not what you want if you're the missiles here. They're inside the red zone here. Yeah, boy's going to take their second timeout. He's trying to see where the ball's marked down there. Timeout, what a catch by Luffelman. I thought he was going to overthrow him, Mac, and he just held on by the fingertips. You got to tip your hat to Luffelman there. Made a heck of a fingertip catch. So ball ball on the five-yard line, it looks like. So 37 yards, Jones. Two Luffelman, his first catch of the ball game. So first and goal for the Clippers. 34 seconds remaining in this first half. First and goal for the Clippers, just inside the five-yard line. Just inside the missile's five-yard line. They do have a timeout to play with. Still plenty of time, Max. So Jones under center, I formation behind him. Gonna hand it to Welchel. Welchel, you could have drove a truck through that hole, and the Clippers are in for a touchdown. Boy, what a touchdown there from the Clippers there, marching down the field there. That's a back-breaking drive there. What an answer by the Clippers. And boy, that left side of the line just blew that hole wide open. You could have scored on that one, Mac. Yeah, even with my speed. <laughs> <laughs> so with 29 seconds remaining, the Clippers strike back. Now trying to make this a two-score game. I go right back to that play. And that's what they do off the left side. Met at the yard, and he is in. He stretches over, does Welchel for the two-point conversion. 29 seconds to go in this first half. And boy, 16, Millville 6. We'll be back on your sports leader, WCCI, after this short timeout. Uh, I see acute injuries on the field. Uh, I see uh, ankle sprains. I see ACL knee injuries, as well as in the clinic. It's very rewarding to see them from on the field injury to rehab to transition back to their event. Archie Bills Company, a hat brand built on two staples, comfort and style, specializing in snapback trucker style caps. Check out the selection or consider customs to build your business at barkleybillsco.com. Don't let the hat rack fool you. There's always room for one more BarkleyBillsCo.com hat. Wishing good luck to all athletes this season. Well, 
Welcome back here to Floyd Dow Field. Wild swings once again, Mac here. And it's Amboy on top, 16 to 6, 29 seconds remaining. And we might not be done scoring here in this half. No, you're right. <laughs> but Missiles only have one timeout, though. As you said, that was a backbreaker there right before half oh, there. I, you would have loved to have just gone in at halftime, 8 to 6. And Yep, what a ball. Jones to Luffelman and a fingertip catch by your fullback. You don't see that too often. What an athlete Luffelman is. And then the Welch, the Clippers have found something off that left side there, Mac, running right off the left left guard there for a five-yard touchdown and the two-point conversion. It's number 14. He's not on our roster here, so I'm not sure who that is towing it up for Amboy. Tom Smith back deep to receive for the missiles. Looks like their penalty max. The ball's back to the 25-yard line. Was there an unsportsmanlike conduct after that? Yeah, play? I didn't see. I didn't see any indication of that. Tom Smith drops it about his own 22-yard line, picks it up, trying to make something out of nothing there, but returns it up near the 35-yard line. Good coverage there by the Clippers. Klein and Heath on the stop. So first and ten for the missiles. So yeah, sorry, missed that. There must have been something after the fact there. Yeah, I, I didn't see any flag on the field there, so I'm not. I'm curious, kind of what that was. But so first and ten for the missiles. Ball on their own 35-yard line. See if they if they try here. Three to the left, one to the right. Now you, this is where you worry about a back-breaking turnover here, too, Mac. Yeah, you don't want something goofy to happen here. You know, you want to see if you can't advance the ball in a big play, though. Knight drops back. Looks like he could have run it, but now he's going to be sacked in the backfield. Blaine as well as 53 Heath, and the Missiles are going to have to burn their final timeout here. Now he's going to be sacked for a one-yard loss. Looked like initially he could have maybe tucked it and ran it up the sideline there, which I know he's wanting a bigger play than that with just 10 seconds to go. Let's see what they dial up here, if they're just going to go into the half here. Like you said, the missiles do get the ball to start the second half. Trailing 10 by 10 here, 16 to 6, 10 seconds to go here. After a scoreless first quarter, the action is picked up here in the second quarter, Mac. Yeah, and it, uh, I think I'm finding the missiles smart money maybe just down it here and, you know, you go into half right where it's at and we'll talk about things yep, here. Regroup and, come, and we get the ball to sec start second half, like you said, Kyle. So that, I think that's a big momentum piece. So second and 11 for the Missiles. Ball on their own 34-yard line. 10 seconds remaining, and they're out of timeouts. So second and 11. So Coach Grenoble and the Missiles have dialed up here. This uh, looks like the Clippers going to go a three-man line. Blaine, Montavon, and Luffelman in there. Then they're dropping eight back in... Five back in coverage. Three linemen, five back. Nice shotgun formation. Three to the left, one to the right. Knight looking for Johnson, and that one falls incomplete. Almost a screen there. Couldn't convert on that one. Third down and 11. Seven seconds remaining. Clippers still have a timeout here too, Mac. They could still force the missiles to punt here and what? Yeah, you know, and you force another play. You never know. So you got to think the missiles are just going to run it here to try to burn some clock and get to the half. But Amboy can call a timeout, and I expect them to do it. Tom Smith off the left side, and that's what Amboy does. Nope, they're not going to take a timeout. That's a little surprising there, Mac. I, I think I would have done the same thing, Kyle, and forced the forced the punt, but. They go into the half here with score 16-6. So about a four-yard gain there for Tom Smith to end the first half. And your score here at the half, Amboy 16, Milledgeville 6. We'll go over the stats here first for the Clippers. Luffelman, five carries for 35 yards. Welchilt, five, or seven carries for 86 yards, including two touchdowns. Welchel went 61 yards and five yards on the two touchdown runs. Jones, three carries for 11 yards, and Blaine, one carry for 12. Through the air, uh, Eddie Jones was two for eight uh, for 61 yards, but a big one, a 37-yard chunk there to Luffelman. Blaine had the other reception for 24 yards. Two penalties for the Clippers for 25 yards in that first half. For the Missiles, first half here, Johnson, three carries for five yards. Nye, 13 carries for 83 yards. Tom Smith, six for 48 
and Spencer Nye, three for 10. Through the air, Connor Nye, three for seven through the air and a touchdown pass. Did throw the one interception as well for 23 yards through the air as Johnson has six of those yards and McKenna has 17 of those yards. So missiles quiet through the air here and the Amboy defense has really been impressive this first half, Mac. Yeah, it, it's uh, the defenses, both both defenses have been on the field for a long time here and you know, it's you'd think it, you, that, that'd that be hard to say here, but uh, the turnover here has really bit, bit the missiles here. And they've had their opportunities with turnovers that the Amboy's given them, but they just haven't capitalized on them. So I'll be interested to see what second half is. Um, the ground game was really working well there in, in different spurts there, either Nye or Mike Tom, Tom Smith. Smith. Yeah. Um, but we'll see what see what second half brings. It doesn't seem like the air attack's real effective here for the missiles yet, but uh, the defense the defense is going to be the key for the missiles here in the second half because I just don't think they can allow any many more points here. Uh, two score game right now. I think that's the other big piece yep. here is it's 10 point deficit here so it's going to take two scores here to get back into this one going to be a big first possession for the missiles coming out here after half yeah i think so just as much as anything momentum here and uh you know you don't get a penalty or something silly here to break up that coming out of half momentum other scores before we cut away here for the halftime timeout lee win 28 dupac 7 dakota 37 west carroll 0 fulton 12 galena 0 EPC 27, Aurora Central Catholic 7. And you're in a force at 16, Stockton 0 at the half. So once again, your score here at the half, Amboy 16, Millage 6. We'll be back on your sports leader, WCCI, after this halftime break.
nice job of plugging up that middle there. So uh, be interesting here how the missiles try to spread them out and get some field space so they can uh, maybe break a big play or two. Yep, you thought the missiles were going to maybe take momentum into the half after they scored with 118 on the clock, Mac. <laughs> Made it 8-6, to six, but Clippers go a little over like 60 yards or, or close to 60 yards, 57 yards or so right before the half and get the two-point conversion to make this a two-score game at 16-6. to six. Be missile ball to start the second half as long as they receive this kickoff without, you never know, an onside kick or anything like that, but yeah. Yeah, big the, opening drive here the second half here for the Missiles. Yeah, big opening drive here. I think not necessarily if they score or not, but if they come out with some enthusiasm here and some momentum here and they really move the ball efficiently, I think that's that's going to be key here. And, you know, we talked too off the air. I don't think this game's going to be decided here in the third quarter. It's going to be decided in the fourth quarter. So other scores here at the half. Polo 50, Decatur, Unity, Christian 0. At the half, Dakota 36, West Carroll 0. Forreston at the half, 16 to nothing over Stockton. Fulton 12, Galena 0 at the half. EPC 27, Aurora Central Catholic 7 at the half. And Lee win over Dupac 28 to 7. As well as number 4, Morrison, a 7 point lead over Sherrard at the half in that one. Tom Smith back deep to receive this kick here by number 14 of the Clippers. As we are set for second half action right here on your sports leader WCCI. If you're listening, watching on YouTube, Brooks Wilkinson running things there as well. This is Matthew Lapp, our cameraman. Thank you, guys. As he toes it up, kicks it out of bounds. And see if the missiles take the ball. Looks like they're going to just take the ball. So they'll take it over first and 10. Ball on their own 35-yard line. Looks like the missile's just going to take the, the ball there. That comes nine. The missile did most of his damage on the ground. 83 yards for counter nine that first half. So first and ten for the missiles. Ball on their own 35-yard line. Double tight end set. Split backfield. Tom Smith and Johnson in the backfield. Nye under center. Hands it to Tom Smith, and he's met after a short gain. Two, maybe three, two yards. Nice job up front by the Clippers once again. Luffelman. It's one that Tom Smith broke in that first half, but he's been held quiet after that long run to start things. 39 yards on his first carry. and Now he's just up to 50. 11 on the other six carries he's had. Second down and eight for the Missiles. Nye under center. Going to play fake. Drops back to pass. Going to air it out deep to Johnson. And pass falls incomplete, but we got a flag on the play. 25, Klein on the coverage. Well, like, they, exactly what they wanted here. They drew the penalty here on the long pass. Pass interference on the Clippers. It's a 15-yarder, so moves the chains at first down. So just 15 yards. So that makes it first and 10 for the missiles. We'll see as they're marking it off now. Forgot to mention the referee crew here tonight. They are referee Creighton Barker, umpire James DeShazo, line judge Miguel Vasquez, linesman Jerry Whitney, and back judge Troy Stockton. So first and 10 for the missiles. Ball on the Clipper 47 yard line. Nye, double tight end set under center. Nye gonna be quarterback keeper. Luffelman trips him up there for another short gain. Klein in there as well. Gain a three that time for Nye. Kind of a slow developing play there and Nye just kind of ran out of a hole there and Luffelman, he's such a good athlete here. He's kind of all over the field doing a little bit of anything and everything for the Clippers. And yeah, that's what makes this defense so tough. On the, Yeah, Blaine on the one side, Luffelman on the other. Those two are always making plays with Montavon and Heath in the middle. No slouches either. Really impressive Amboy defense. Second and seven for the missiles. Ball on the Clipper 44. Nice shotgun formation. Drops back to pass. He's got Living Good. Living Good wide open. Makes one man miss. He's inside the 10. Running for the pylon. And he's in for a missile. Touchdown. Nice 44 yards to Living Good. 
What a great fake by Nye there, and the defense really bit on that hard. And nice thrown ball there, and great hesitation there, and allowed him to spring that free for the touchdown. So just what we talked about coming out at half there, pop that quick one. 16 to 12, missiles go for two. 10.34 to go in quarter number two. Living good, wide open, made a man miss, and race to the corner. Pistol formation for Nye and the missiles. Johnson in the backfield behind him. Johnson gonna take the pitch. Gonna be met in the backfield for a loss. Amboy's all over that conversion, no good. 10.34 to go in quarter number three. Amboy 16, Millage 12. We'll be back on your sports leader WCCI after this short break. Farm Supply, located in the heart of Walnut Grove and in business since 1974. Ryden Farm Supply can meet all your needs for LP seed, fertilizer, and farm chemicals. Their LP service is unmatched in this area. Customer service is one of their specialties. Give them a call today at 309-772-3121. Floyd Dobb Field. Air Sports Leader WCCI. Kylie joined by Mark Mackenberg. Like you said, they're Mack off the air. We got a game here now. We got a game, exactly. The Missiles answered the bell here coming out to start the second half. So I think that's a big momentum shift for the Missiles. But it's long from being over here. They're going to have to hold defensively. As nice, set to tow it up. Klein back deep to receive it for the Clippers. Missiles go in under a minute and a half. Nye to living good, 44-yard touchdown strike. After the big pass interference call, Mac, that was a big play in that series that was, as well. That was, that was, it kept the drive going and. Nye deep kick over the head. And gonna go into the end zone, so nice kick there for Nye. Gonna make the Clippers drive 80 yards here, Mac. Yeah, good job there. The special team's really been a wild card here tonight for both teams here. And now we'll see if the Clippers They've been moving the ball heel real well their last couple of possessions, Mac. See if the missile defense can rise up here, get a stop. First and 10 for the Clippers, ball on their own 20-yard line. Jones calling out the play in the huddle. Eye formation behind him. Double tight end set. And uh, hand it, Welchel right off that left side, and he's gonna have another nice gainer. And boy, move in that front, tackled by Raymond. Five more for Welchel. Kind of in a hurry up offense here. They're already up the line here and Jones is getting under center here. Second down and five, Jones back under center. Gonna try Welchel off the right side, stringing it out and he's caught there the back feet, or right at the line of scrimmage by Nye, but he falls forward for gaining a one, maybe two. Looks like they're right into that hurry up offense here. They're moving a quick move third the pace and three. of the game. Yep, no huddle offense here for the Clippers. Gonna hand it to Luffelman. Luffelman gonna be met in the backfield and they're gonna be stopped for a loss or no gain on the play. Well, Connor Nye and Spencer Nye on the stop. A great job by the defense there, stringing that out. Luffelman forcing the, coming up with a big defensive stand here. He's gonna force the Clippers to punt. Fourth and three now, loss of one there for Luffelman. Well, see quick if they three do. and out here, Kyle. Possibly, you gotta make sure they punt this ball here, Mac. Yeah, you're right, I know, but. Luffelman back to punt. He boomed it over the head of Tom Smith the last time. See what he does here. Tom Smith back to receive it. He's standing about his own 41-yard line. Good snap. Punt away, and it's a good one. Tom Smith going to receive it, and it's on the ground, but McKenna's going to fall on it. Boy, that could have been disastrous there for the missiles there. Tom Smith just like he almost lost it in the lights there. It hit him in the shoulder pads there, and... Never really even had missiles dodge ball there. Ball. McKenna, Johnny on the spot there to cover the ball there. Tom Smith might have took a hit on that play as well. As he goes out of the game. I think maybe number six put the tackle on him as he right after he caught, tried to catch it. But missiles dodge a bolt. They got the ball back here. First and 10, ball on their own 42 yard line. Shotgun formation for Nye. Spencer off to his left. Johnson split out to the right. 
Nine. Pump fake. Going to throw it to McKenna. And McKenna's got it. Down inside the 30. Where he's tackled there by number three, Cody Wynn. First and ten for the Missiles. Wow. Wow, the Missiles come out with a new look here in the second <laughs> half here, passing the ball and very, very effectively passing the ball. First half seemed like they had all sorts of struggles moving the ball through the air. 38 yards nigh to McKenna. McKenna's second catch of the half. 55 yards. Now first and 10 for the Missiles. Ball on the Clipper 27-yard line. Eye formation, Tom Smith back in the ball game at fullback. Double tight end set. Nye takes a snap, going to hand it to Tom Smith. He's rumbling, stumbling, still going, still pushing, moving the pile ahead. Going to have a gain of five plus there, Mac. Good hard run there by Micah Tom Smith. Yeah, no ill effects there from that punt return. Micah Tom Smith comes in there and puts a, a tough six, six yards. yards there. Tough six yards. Eight. 18 and counting in this third quarter. Amboy 16, Milledgeville 12. Second down and four for the Missiles. Ball on the Clipper 21 yard line. I formation, double tight end set. Nye under center. Hand it to Johnson. Johnson's going to be stormed in the backfield by a host of Clippers there. No gain, maybe short loss on the play for Connor Johnson. Loss of one there for Johnson. Third down and a long four, short five, whatever way you look at it, Mac. Four down territory, I think that's the good news. Pistol formation, two to the left here for the missiles. Nye waits the snap, takes it, drops back. Going to be a quick pass out to Johnson in the flat. Johnson trying to get away from the defender, but he cannot host gang tackle there. And that's going to be maybe a loss of another one or two yards. Welchel on the stop. Now about fourth and six here for the Missiles. Clippers defense trying to rise up here. Big fourth and six here for the Missiles. Ball back on their own, or on the Clipper 27 yard line. Double tight end set, eye formation. Nye under center. I think the Clippers are going to bring a blitz here. Nye play fake, going to drop back to pass. Gets around one, gonna air it up for Living Good. Living Good's got it! Down near the 10 yard line! Nine, throw it up, and Living Good win got it! Uh, kind of a balloon ball there, he kind of threw up there, but Living Good somehow ran underneath it there, and the ball was in the air forever, and, but it's good enough for a first down. First and goal ball. Ball right on the 10, on the 10 yard line. 17 yards, nine to Living Good. First and goal for the Missiles. Got to go the full 10 here. Nye under center. Eye formation behind him. Now pitch it to Johnson. Johnson off the left side. Going to be strung out and tackled there for a short gain. Luffelman out there as well as three win. Second and goal. A three yard gain there, Kyle. Yep, three yards there for Johnson. 555 and counting in this third quarter. Amboy 16, Milledgeville 12. Nye runs a bit, gets a play call from Coach Grenoble. Going to have to hurry here. Down to 10 seconds on the play clock. They hustle to the line. Double tight end set. S split backfield. Nye under center. Going to look to keep it. Now he flips it to Johnson. Johnson going to look to cut back. Still spinning, still spinning. A lot for nothing there. Down to the five. Well, I guess he third and two. Goal. I guess he got two, but I think he had to run 20 yards to pick up the two. Brennan Blaine did a good job sniffing that read option out there. He stuck with Nye the whole way. Nye with a late pitch there to Johnson. Third and goal from the five. Well, you're halfway there in your two first downs here, Mac. You got five more yards to go. I know. You're, you're on pace here. Double tight end set, eye formation behind Nye in the backfield. Connor, Spencer Nye in fullback, Johnson in the tailback. Nye going to roll to his right, looking to get around the edge. Nye's going to maybe tuck it and run. Nye tucks it, dives, touchdown! 
Touchdown Missiles! Connor Nye goes five yards, diving across the end zone. Mac and the Missiles have their first lead of the ball game. Back-to-back -back scores. They've answered the bell here. Coming out of coming out of halftime here with two really, really good, solid drives here, putting points up on the board. That was just your athlete making something out of nothing on that. That's play right. Here. That's right. He needed five yards. Connor Nye says, get on my back. I'm taking you to the house. Mill drill 18, Amboy 16. See the missiles can finally convert a two-point conversion here. Double tight end set, eye formation behind Nye. Hand it to Tom Smith, and he's in. Two-point conversion, good. 440 to go here in this third quarter. Milledgeville 20, Amboy 16. We'll be back on your sports leader, WCCI, after this quick timeout. Uh, I see acute injuries on the field. Uh, I see uh, ankle sprains. I see ACL knee injuries, as well as in the clinic. It's very rewarding to see them from on the field injury to rehab to transition back to their event. Farm Supply, located in the heart of Walnut Grove and in business since 1974, Ryden Farm Supply can meet all your needs for LP seed, fertilizer, and farm chemicals. Their LP service is unmatched in this area. Customer service is one of their specialties. Give them a call today at 309-772-3121. Welcome back here to Floyd Dobb Field. What an answer. Mac for the missiles coming out of halftime here. Yeah, I don't know what uh, Coach Robel told them there at halftime, but it's uh, it, it's worked well. And we're gonna have to talk to him maybe after the for this one's over and say what you did tell him at halftime has worked well. So long way to go in this. Long one. way to yeah. go. It's long not over by any means here. 440 left in quarter number three. So yeah. As back deeper as Klein Pine. Hoping not to, it looks like Connor Nye not going to be able to kick this one over his head. We'll see what Connor Nye elects to do. He does boot it, and he's going to receive it about his 10-yard line. Klein's going to have a lot of green grass here. Klein going to be tackled there by Adamek and Tom Smith. Good, pretty good field position, though, but short of the 35 and better than kicking it just out of bounds. Good special teams coverage there by the Missiles. Well, the, what the Clipper answer here will really be critical here. What the Clippers have been kind of smashed in the mouth here. Two scores by the Missiles here. See what the Clippers come up with. As Connor and I exited the game there on that return. We'll see. He's not in there at linebacker. Welchel. And we met right at the line of scrimmage. Adamek in there as well as Promenschenkel. And a fired up missile defense now here, Mac. As Connor and I comes back onto the field with a little bit of a limp there. Gain a one there for Welchel. 4-12 and counting in this third quarter. Amboy trails 20 to 16, their first time trailing all night. Led 16 to six at the half. Jones under center, eye formation behind him. Jones, play action pass, looks to air it out and he's got Blaine. Blaine downfield, batted down by Tom Smith, but we got a flag on the play. Got a hold here on the missiles. Going to be a hold instead of pass interference, but that'll be a 10-yard penalty and a first down. So both teams now with a big pass, or a holding pass interference call in the second half here, Mac. Yeah, those... I think sometimes coaches do that intentionally, see if they can draw a penalty against secondaries. Missiles had two guys out there. The hold was not necessary. I said I didn't see it, but I'm, I'm guessing it was happening closer there. to the line of yeah, scrimmage. Yeah, early on the part of the yep. part of the ball in the air. So first and ten for the Clippers. Ball on their own 44-yard line. New set of downs for Amboy. I formation. Hand it to Welchel. Welchel off the right side. Tom Smith does a good job being there, but Welchel breaks it. Welchel's free, and he's off to the races. Welchel's going to take it to the house. What a run by Landon Welchel, and the Clippers answer back. Tom Smith had him stood up, but he didn't wrap up, Mac, and yeah, Welchel. He just kept the missiles just didn't get him down to the ground there. They made contact, but didn't get him down on the ground there, and they break it away. Welchel, another back-breaking play, 56 yards for an Amboy touchdown. What a run by Landon Welchel. 
I thought they might even rule him in the grass there. You know, there's kind of that rule there if you're in the grass and you've quit your forward momentum, but there was no whistle, so yes, it was 22-20. Uh, Amboy back on top. They're going for two, of course. Jones shotgun formation. Wouldn't be surprised here if it's quarterback Keith. And that's it, what it is. And he is in for the two-point conversion. 3.36 to go in this third quarter. Amboy 24, Milljoe 20. We'll be back on your sports leader, WCCI, after this quick timeout. Welcome back here to Floyd Dow Field as the action is picked up, Mac, after yeah, the scoreless right. first quarter. A little bit of a back and forth, but no at, no scoring. But now all of a sudden, everything they touch is a score. So this game's far from over here. It looks like we have a down player on the field for the missiles. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but they've, uh, they're have they attending to him. He's still down on the field, and the officials have pulled everybody away from yeah, him. Maybe, so. hopefully in a cramp, the way they're stretching the leg out there, maybe. I'm hoping, maybe. looks like Bruce Raymond. That's a big loss here he's for the gonna, missiles. He's going to walk on his own power off to the sidelines. That's their so that's starting it. center. So Raymond limps off here. Like I said, we're hoping it's just a cramp. But not stretching that leg, but yeah, he's walking off very gingerly here as Amboy's set to tow it up. Like I said, now that's going to be key here. That's your starting center there of who's going to take snaps. That's not something the backup center does not get a lot of reps in practice, Mac. No, and an eight-man, those linemen, just because there's a few less, it becomes very, very important. And boy, toes it up. Going to go. Not going to go out of bounds. Tom Smith's going to have to pick it up down near the 10-yard line, and he's pushed out of bounds there. And great coverage there by the Clippers and a great kick there. And the missiles are going to be pinned deep on their own end zone. Ed Fry there to push them out of bounds. First and 10 for the missiles ball on their own 14-yard line. So pinned back deep here. Now, Looks like Miners is in on the offensive line and I think Promenschinkel is now the starting center. Nye under center, I formation behind him. Gonna hand it to Johnson. Johnson makes one cut, gonna have a decent gainer here. Spencer Nye now in for Miners. Gain a six there for Johnson. So good initial carry there for the missiles on that first down. Matt, get, a little, get away from the goal line a little bit, out to near the 20. Well, missiles need to answer the bell again, Kyle, here. They put up two quick scores, but the Clippers answered. And this is what you're going to have two heavyweights hitting each other. You're going to be back and forth. So you just Nye fumbles a snap. Now he's going to be met in the backfield, and there's that center exchange. Between Crom and Schinkel and Nye, and third down and six, and as that Raymond comes running back onto the field. So, loss of two that time for Nye on that carry. Now we are third and long here, third and six, 229 to go here. Need to convert here, otherwise you gotta punt deep from your own end back, and yeah. you know how that ended the last time the missiles had to do that. Yeah, it's that situation here. This is a big third down conversion here. Nye under center, double tight end set, I formation. Nye going to drop back to pass. He's going to air it out to McKenna. Goes through his hands a little bit behind him. On the coverage there was Anderson. Pass falls incomplete, and the missiles are going to have to punt here, Mac. Yeah, unfortunately, the missiles are going to have to punt here and then bring your defense back out on the field here and hope that yep. But you're still going to give 
the Clippers pretty good field position here. Yep, just like that when you think the missiles have momentum, Welch will break a long one, and they get a three and out. Adamick back to punt, and they got to protect better here on this punt. Looks like McKenna may be the long snapper. Good snap. Adamick gets it away, and a good kick. Angle towards the 45-yard line. Klein's going to pick it up and try to run it up, but you tackle there, and... Looks like he's going to be pushed in the back, I'm guessing, here against the Clippers. The way that flag flew out there. A late flag here. Clippers are going to have it right at midfield. We'll see what the flag is for. Block in the back. You call it right on top of it there, Mac. So, block in the back, move it back here. So, they will be starting their own side of the field here instead of right at midfield. But now the Missiles defense have got to rise up here, Mac. Rise up is right here. Trailing by four. Clippers had the ball first and ten ball on their own 40-yard line. Haven't had a turnover this half. <laughs> Raymond is not in there defensively, though, so he's still out. Miner's in there on the defensive line for him. Gonna Blaine. Blaine off the left side. Blaine's got room to run. Blaine's across midfield, down inside the 40, and he might go down inside the 20. Is Nye going to get him? He gets him down, but inside the 10-yard line, Brennan Blaine makes a long run. See where they mark him out at. It was over 50 yards on the end of round. First and goal from the eight, 52 yards. First and goal for the Clippers, ball on the missile, eight yard line. Jones under center, hand it to Welchel. Welchel runs through traffic there, gonna have a gain of a couple anyway. Second goal from about the six. Just outside the five, second and goal for the Clippers. Big series here, they can extend this back to a two score ball game I think here. that's the big moment here is the two scores. Yep, already up four, so even just a touchdown is a two-score game. Yes. After Somehow, if you could force them into a field goal or turnover on downs or whatever. Yep, 108 and, and counting in this third quarter. Second and goal, ball on the missile six-yard line. Jones under center, Luffelman in the backfield, wing to the left is Welchel. Be a pitch to Luffelman, seam up the middle, and now a late flag here. That might be a hold there. Looks like it's going to be a hold. Yep, that's the indica early indication here. Hold against the Clippers. Holding against the Clippers. It's 51 seconds remaining in this third quarter. It's a big penalty there. Going to make it second and goal. Second goal from the 18 yard line now. Four wide receivers, two to the right, two to the left, shotgun formation for Jones. This is where he's dangerous to run it. As Blaine goes in motion, as Jones fumbles the snap, but now he's gonna take off and run, and he's got room to run. Jones down inside the 10 near the five. Boy, he fumbled the snap and makes something out of nothing. Gonna be third and goal inside the five. About, right about the five. Be third and goal. 13 yards there for Jones. Third and goal, ball on the missile, five yard line. Knocked out of bounds, so the clock stops with 40 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Yeah, play by Jones, the game. 15, another new tight end, 58 coming in, Zembrowski in. Go more like the good goal line package. I formation. Jones under center. And oh, both gonna have movement. That's another penalty. This penalty bugs Back really making five yards starter start. here inside you, the red zone here for the Clippers. No debate about that one. The right guard started early. That's any coach's nightmare is penalties, 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 especially when we're right knocking on the door here for a score. Raymond's still not back in there on defense. Miners in there. You subbed out. 
So third and goal from the 10. 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. I formation, double tight end set. Got to look for play action here. That's what Jones does. Jones looking for Blaine as he's got number seven. He's caught it for a touchdown. Anderson, 10 yards from Jones, and the Clippers are back up by 10. You had Jones and Blaine out there. He hit this, the shorter man there in the route. Jones, wide open. Or Anderson, excuse me, from Jones for the 10 yard touchdown. Big answer back here, back to back touchdowns by the Clippers after they trailed for the first time. Jones under center, gonna play action again and he's throwing, got wide open Welchel. Conversion, good. 33 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Amboy 32, Milledgeville 20. We'll be back on your sports leader WCCI after this short timeout. Do you need ice for your upcoming event? Look no further. Midwest Ice has you covered. Midwest Ice is Central Illinois' newest ice delivery service. We deliver ice directly to your event. Call Blaine Wrench at 309-351-8192 for a quote today. Welcome back here to Floyd Dobb Field. Back-to-back -back scores and two-point conversions as well, Mac. And the Clippers have their largest lead of the ball game at 12. Yeah, that's exactly right here. And the missiles kind of thrown back here. Missiles, Clippers have come back and thrown another punch at them. So here, missiles need to rally again. And boy set to kick off. Going to boot it. And it looks like this one's going to go out of bounds. This is going to take it first and 10 ball on their own 35 yard line. The offense needs to answer back here. We're down to the final 33 seconds of this quarter. Make sure you're not in the shadows of your goal line this time. Open up the playbook a little more. But the momentum currently wearing red and black here for the Clippers. Raymond is back in there at the center position here as he comes back in on offense. Double tight end set. Johnson and Tom Smith in the backfield behind Nye. Nye going to drop back to pass. Going to be pressured. Now he's going to try to tuck and run. He's going to be sacked in the backfield. 55, the first one to get it. Montavon. Going to be a loss of two, maybe three. A loss of two. Great coverage downfield there by the Clippers as well, Mac. Yeah, nice job. And just the big four up front there just really give a nice surge there for the Clippers there and the, the pocket collapses so fast that Nye just doesn't have really much of an opportunity to get his feet set and find find a good receiver open. That's going to do it here after three quarters of play. Amboy 32, Millville 20. We'll be back on your sports leader WCCI after this short break. Back here to Floyd Dobb Field. Missiles got it. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 33-yard line. 
Two to the left, pistol formation for the missiles. Tom Smith goes in motion. Nye takes a snap, fakes it to Johnson, now looks to air it out. Now he's gonna tuck it and run. He's got good yardage, gonna be near, gonna be about five yards short or so. Gonna gain about seven on the play. Gain of about eight. Be third down and four. Nine making something out of nothing there again, Mac. Yeah, he's the, he's really just been a kind of one man wrecking ball here the whole night here for the missiles here. But he's going to have to have someone else step up here with a big play here, and you just feel like they're just on the verge here at any moment here. The missiles. It's third down and four. Ball on the on their own 41 yard line. Nye under center, going to hand it to Tom Smith. He's going to be met right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Welchel, Klein. Going to be fourth and three, and you got to go for it here if you're the yeah, missiles back. Yeah, I think exactly here. It's just, I won't say it's do or die here, but you definitely need to make this conversion here, and you just can't afford to give them up the possession. Fourth down and three. Need to get to the 45 ball. Is on the 42 yard line here. This will still stick with a double tight end package. Split back behind Nye, who's under center. Fourth and three. Nye takes the snap. Gonna hand it to Spencer Nye. Nye's gonna have the first down and more. He's down inside the 40. Big gainer there, Spencer Nye. Yeah, kind of caught the kind of caught the Clippers sleeping there and 19 yards there for Spencer Nye. Kind of snuck him out that backside there, man. Yeah, kind of, as you say, snuck him out there and looks like he's down on the sideline there. It looks like he's got a cramp. It looked like he was getting gimpy there as he was running that ball. Stoppage of play as he's, he is out of bounds enough, so they do resume action. First and 10 for the Missiles. New life here, though, for they convert that fourth and three. Ball on the Clipper 39-yard line. Double tight end set. Nye drops back to pass, and he's going to be pressured, and he's going to throw it, and nobody over there. That's probably going to be grounding, Mac. Uh, nope, he's no. out of the pocket. It looks like they called him out of the pocket exactly yep. here. The official was right on it there, and the Amboy coaching staff definitely were calling for it, but after he said that he's outside the tackle boxes, he kept his flag in his pocket. 32 to 20, Amboy on top, 10.42 to go in the ball game here. Missiles. Quick strike, two scores out of the gate of the second half to lead 20 to 16, and then back-to-back -back scores by the Clippers to end that third quarter. Second down and 10. Been tough sledding for the Missiles most of the night offensively other than those two drives in the third quarter. Shotgun formation for Nye. Three to the right, one to the left. Nye takes a snap, drops back. Going to get it to Tom Smith. Tom Smith trying to make one man miss it. He cannot. Balls out, and I believe the Clippers got it. Brendan Blaine forced the fumble. Welchup comes up with it, and another... Big play here for the Clippers, Mac. Well, exactly there, the turnover. First turnover of the half here, and it's a costly one for the Missiles there. First and 10 for the Clippers. Ball on their own 44-yard line. A huge play by the Amboy defense. They gotta feed, they gotta get a heavy dose of Luffelman and Welchel here, Mac. As oh, exactly. There's Welchel gonna be tackled right at the line of scrimmage, falls forward for one. Tackled there by Nye. Second down and nine. So, 153 yards unofficially. 10 13, clock in the Clippers' favor as well. Their scores, it was 12 to seven. Galena trailing Fulton, that one's getting closer. Second down and nine, double tight end set, I formation behind Jones. Jones gonna hand it to Welch. Welch off the right side, and he's running through. A couple tackles, he's gonna be close to a first down, about a yard short. Gain of about eight there for Welch. Running hard, boy, he's been real impressive. Kind of a th three-headed monster there with Welchel, Luffelman, and Blaine running the ball here. Jones is dangerous as well. Real impressed by this Amboy team here tonight. Third and one here for the Clippers. Ball on the missile, 47-yard line. 
Jones is going to be a quarterback sneak, and he's got the first down. Gain a two there for Jones. Now they're just going to try to take some air out of the ball here, Mac, and pound away here at the missile defensive line. Exactly. They're just going to let that clock keep, keep rolling because that's the only thing that's going to be able to hold them back is that clock. Yep, 9-15 and counting. New set of downs, first and 10 for the Clippers. Ball on the missile, 45-yard line. Double tight end set. Jones under center, I formation behind him. Jones under center. Gonna be the read option. Tucks it. And gonna have another nice gainer. Does a nice read there. Gain of about three, maybe four. Gain of three there for Jones. Second down and seven. 8.45. Thirty-two to twenty, Amboy on top. Some key games tomorrow in this eight-man ranks, as well as number four, number six, St. Thomas Moore travels to South Beloit, the Battle of Unbeaten's, as well. Luffelman running through tackles, finally stopped by Miners after another good game there. Staying ahead of the chains here, Mac are the Clippers. Missiles, missiles just need to force a turnover here. Kyle would be a huge momentum swing, but as you say, they're just keeping that just kind of Leffelman and on the ground, you're going to see a lot of him, I'm sure. Gain a five there for Leffelman. Third down and two here for the Clippers. Wing to the left. Jones under center, going to handle it to Leffelman, and he's met in the backfield. Be a loss this time on the play. Going to be fourth down. <laughs> Got to believe they're probably just going to go for it here, don't you think, Kyle? Yep, I would think fourth down and five, loss of three there for Lusselman, tackled by Spencer Nye. They're going to talk, and I think they're looking at maybe calling the timeout here. Yep, you got to believe they're going to go for it, but you could always try to punt and pin them back here. you got a 12-point lead, seven minutes to go, but I believe Clippers are going to go for it here. Fourth down and five, ball on the missile, 40-yard line. Jones under center, I formation behind him. Jones going to do play action. Jones looks to get it out, and he gets it out to Blaine, and it falls incomplete. Tom Smith might have got a hand on it. And the Missiles do get a stop here, but we're down to seven minutes to go, and the Missiles trail by 12. But a big stop there for the Missile defense. Big stop there by the Missile defense. A nicely called play there. But uh, Tom Smith there, I think, as you called, Kyle, I think he got a touch on it, and it just was enough to get that ball to the ground there and no catch. So... Missiles need to find, find it here offensively. First and 10 for the Missiles. They have a ball on their own 40-yard line. Double tight end set. Eye formation behind nine. Ground game been pretty much well in check other than Connor Nye tonight, Mac. As Nye going to get it out to pass and gets it to Tom Smith. Tom Smith got a blocker in front, but a flag comes out after a short gain. Montavon with the tackle. That guy's been everywhere tonight. Are you wonder if it's going to be a hold or hold or block, lineman downfield maybe again too as well? I'm not sure. No, I haven't seen any indications early on, but it's just going to be a gain of two, maybe three yards. We think they're going to oh, no flag. No they, flag. They pick it up. So after some discussion there, they pick up the flag. So second and eight there for the missiles. So second down and eight, clock continues to run. Now 6.50 and counting in the ball game. Come nine, the missiles. Gonna need to start hurrying things up here though, Matt. Yeah, they're just, clock's gonna be their biggest enemy here. Spencer Nye, quick hitter up the middle. Gain of about two, gonna be third and six down. Klein on the stop there for the Clippers. Third down and six here, 6.20 to go in the ball game. Nye hustles back to the huddle, getting the play call from Coach Grenoble. You're, everything's four down territory now here, Matt. Yeah, exactly. You just Missiles need a chunk play is what they need, something to change momentum here. Third down and six, shotgun formation for Nye. Three to the left, one to the right. Nye takes the pass, going to drop to his left. Now he's going to tuck it and run, and he's going to be short by about a yard. Nope, they signal first down. Wow. Wow. 
First, Am to, yep, give him. Amboy, Amboy gave, staff doesn't gave, really care gave for the, the call. six on that play. First and ten for the missiles. Ball on the right at midfield. 5.40 to go. I took a shot there late. All nine. Wasn't a dirty play, just a hit as he's going to the ground. Nine. Drops back to pass, rolling to his left. Gonna air it out deep. And he just chucks it out. And it's gonna be intercepted by Wynn. Nye just threw that up for grabs there, Mac, and not a not a missile player in sight. And Wynn comes away with the interception down deep inside the 10, but another turnover here for the missiles. Back-to-back -back series, the Clippers get a turnover, Mac, and that dials disaster here in a big game. Wynn did a good job tracking that ball there. First and 10 for the Clippers. Ball on, wasn't inside the 10, I'm gonna say, where's it at, about the six. 5.27 to go, now the Clippers just gotta milk this clock out. Gonna be Welch off the right side, now Welch is off to the races. Welch has gotta try to beat Tom Smith, and Tom Smith does get him down, but a big gainer. Takes it from the six out near the 30 yard line to the 29. 23 yards there for Welchel. Welchel's had a big He's night. He's been impressive, hasn't he, Matt? Yeah, he has had a big night. I mean, hats off to the young man. He's had 184 a yards unofficially. Heck of a night. First and 10 for the Clippers. Five, as we approach five minutes to go in this ball game. Amboy leads 32 to 20. Luffelman going to be stacked up there. Or Welch, nope, this is Luffelman. Maybe a gain of one. No gain on the play there for Luffelman. Boy, Welch will turn that game around, Mac, after the missile took that lean. He broke two or three tackles on a big touchdown run there. Where'd he go? About 56 yards on that run. Really swung the momentum, and they've had it ever since. Landon Welchel, the 5'10", 210-pound running back. Second and 10 for the Clippers. Wing to the left. And, uh, Jones going to keep it off the right side. And tackled there by Connor Nye and Bryce McKenna. Gain a one there for Jones. So the Clippers are just content running some clock here. Yeah, Mac. I think they are too here. And the Missiles just really don't have much they can do against that. The ground attack here and the clock, they probably get about, what, two more first downs? Yeah, 340. Missiles do have all three timeouts off. They're going to have to start calling them here shortly. In 14 seconds, Amboy might just see if they get a playoff or they just call timeout here. Going to have to go quick if they're going to get this one off. 3.30 and counting. Third and nine for the Clippers. Ball on their own 30-yard line. Jones under center. Going to do Blaine. Blaine coming around the left side. Going to be get away from one guy. But finally wrapped up by Prom and Schinkel for no gain on the play. Well, you force a punt situation here for the Clippers, but timeout Milledgeville. 3.07 to go in the ball game. Amboy 32, Milledgeville 20. We'll be back. Here's Schwartz Leader WCCI after this 30 second timeout. Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Water and Hole in downtown Augusta is open and says good luck all area teams this season. Welcome back here Stopping to Floyd Dodd Field here. Friday, 2 p.m. to Missile's 1 is going to force a punt here by the Clippers, but yeah, time is time. the biggest factor here in this ballgame. Yeah, game. They, they, unfortunately, 307 left here in quarter number four, so... The missiles need need probably a quick score and a big play here. That's what the doctor would dial up. But 48-27, Lee Wing gets the win over Dupec. That's a final. And 
Forston, 22-8 over Stockton. Luffelman back to punt. Good snap. Gives, just does get the kick away, and the Missiles have nobody back to receive it, and that's going to be a great punt for the Clippers down inside the Missile 30-yard line as the Missiles sold out to try to block it there, Mac, and just missed it did Spencer Nye coming in for the block. I think that's what you had to do in that situation is <coughs> try, to, try to see if he can't make a big play in a block, but didn't work out, so the Missiles here take over, and they'll need a big play quick. Under three minutes to go. As I said, Duke Forreston gets a big win. Polo, 64, Unity Christian, nothing. First and 10 for the Missiles here. Three wide receivers to the right. Well, this is what is tough to pass when you, everybody knows it's, it, you've got to pass. There's no surprises here now, so yeah. Nye drops back to pass. Gonna air it out to Tom Smith. Tom Smith has it. He's across the 40, 45. 50, he's still running, 30, John Smith inside the 20, still running down inside the 10 before he's finally tracked down there by number 25, that's Klein. Well, great job by Tom Smith there. Could have been down here twice here, but. Missile's just not dead quite yet, 2.45 to go in the ball game. Well, they're knocking on the door here for a quick score and they got First two timeouts, so. But they need to get a score here. They can't waste much time here getting these points. 26 to the four yard line, I do believe. First and goal for the Missiles. First and goal from the six and the big stop there running is nigh. Be a loss of one on the play. Be second and goal from about the seven. So second goal for the Missiles. Tom Smith won about 70 yards there, nine. Two living good, pass incomplete, flag on the play. Flag on the play, two minutes to go. Looks like we're gonna have pass interference here on the Clippers. See what the call is here, Mac. Is that what you got, pass interference? I think that's almost guaranteed. He was riding him pretty good there in the end zone. So, yes, be half distance to the goal. So, two minutes to go in this ball game. Be a new set of down, or is it, is it just second, second down? down. It just stays second down. I thought that'd be a new down. The good news is the clock stops. So, second goal from the three. This will still do have two timeouts remaining. Eye formation, double tight end set. Nye under center. Nye going to hand it to Spencer Nye up the middle. And going to be short. Gain about one or two, can't tell. Third and goal from about the one. That clock continues to march down. So 145 left. Missiles right up to the line here. Looks like they're going to make a Nye with a... Nye quarterback sneak, and he's still short. Well, fourth down now. Fourth goal from the one yard line. Montavon cut him down there right at the line of scrimmage. Missile's got to go in a hurry. 1.30 to go. Fourth and goal. Nye, quarterback sneak, and he's in. Nye is in. Is there a flag? Did a flag come out late? There's some discussion. One line judge said touchdown. Now they denied it. No, now what they said, the one signal touchdown. Whitney signal touchdown on the sideline. No, now, now they're saying short. How can you? The one signal touchdown. Seems to be a lot of discussion here, and there is a flag on the play, so maybe they're sorting that out still. False start, <laughs> missiles. So redo the down. Boy, the missiles had it right inside. The third and goal from the two. They tried two straight sneaks, could not get in. I'm gonna have a procedure penalty. Fourth and goal from the six. 1.23 to go in the ball game. What a stay in here by the Clippers defense. They're gonna need a miracle anyway, but here's the ball game, Mac. If they yeah. don't convert here. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Any hope, you gotta convert here. 
You gotta find a way to the end zone here. Three to the left, one to the right. Shotgun formation for Nye, all alone back there. Nye takes a snap, looks to the left, now goes back right. Nye throws it, pass, falls, caught, nope, and dropped by McKenna. Threw his hands, pass, falls, incomplete, and the Clippers are gonna get a big stop there on defense. Now they just got to salt this one away here, Mac. And the Clippers going to remain unbeaten on the season. That ball was deflected, and McKenna almost had it for a second, but couldn't quite come up with it. Went through maybe off an Amboy and a Miljo player there, Mac. It would have been a heck of a play. It was yes, it would have been. That was catch. not an easy catch by any means. First and 10 for the Clippers ball on their own six yard line. Just gonna hand it off to Welchel. And Welchel's off to the races. Welchel might take this one. Nope, Nye's gonna get him. Across the 35, up near the 36 yard line. 30 yards more for Welchel. He's gonna go over 200 yards on the night. Yeah, Man. impressive night for the young man. Heck of a night. Up for 214. Unofficially down to a minute to go here. Clippers, number one. They're number one for a reason, Mac. Very That's impressive right. tonight. Very, very impressive. Just well-rounded team on both sides of the ball here. And Millsville stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, Kyle, all yeah, night here. I was going to say, that's a 12-point game, and it seems closer than that even. A lot of momentum. And hopefully we get a rematch of this in the playoffs, Mac. Jones hands to Welchel. Welchel off the right side. Stays in bounds, tackled there by Nye and Nye. Gain of nine more there for Welchel. Down and then that's gonna do it. That'll be the final play of the game. The Clippers come in to Floyd downfield and get a win over the unbeaten missiles by a score of 32 to 20. We'll go over the stats here first for the Clippers here tonight. Luffelman, nine carries for 36 yards. Welchel, 17 carries, 223 yards back. This yeah, that was a whale of a game. That jumps out off the, play, off the stat sheet tonight here. He, uh, he put together a whale of a game. Including three touchdown runs on the night there for Welchel. Jones, seven carries for 30 yards. Blaine, just three carries, but 64 yards for Brendan Blaine as well. He's just a weapon everywhere. Jones passing, not really efficient, three for 10, um, but some big ones, 71 yards through the air and that huge one to Luffelman in the end of that first half. That, that one was <laughs> a tough one there. They got points right before the half with under two minutes and that that really, that close game like that, all those points start to add up. Yeah, but receptions, Blaine one for 24, Luffelman one for 37, and Anderson one with a 10 yard touchdown as Jones had one 10 yard pass there to Anderson who caught the 10 yard pass. That was all through the air. Five penalties for 55 yards for the Clippers. Now for the missiles here tonight. Johnson, seven carries for 15 yards. Connor Nye had 20 carries for 100 yards. Tom Smith, nine for 56. And Spencer Nye, six carries for 35 yards. Through the air, Connor Nye, 10 for 18, 187 yards. One touchdown, two interceptions through the air. Receiving for the missiles, Johnson, two for six. Tom Smith, three for 67. McKenna, two for 55. Levengood, two for 61. Five penalties for the missiles for 35 yards. Both teams' penalties calmed down in the second half, Mac. Yeah, things did clean up a little bit that second half here, but, you know, the, the missiles really came out that third quarter there and, you know, put up two quick scores there, but then give credit to the Clippers. They answered back with two more right back at them. So, uh, you know... Neither team, game. Whale, neither team yep. you felt like really ever was out of it. There was there was just moments there where both teams had the momentum, all the momentum going their way. Answered back. So it's it was a great, it was a whale of a ball game. And as you said, Kyle, this might be a preview for something later down the road here. And I think if you're a fan of both schools here, you'd you'd welcome it because it'll probably be another classic, just like we saw tonight. Absolutely gonna check through the scores here for some other finals. 48-0 Dakota over West Carroll. Yeah, like I said, both for Millerville, like I said, impressive by Amboy. They've still got one big test ahead. I think week nine, Amboy, or Polo comes to town. That'll be a tough one there for the Clippers, but boy, they look like the real deal to run the table. 
uh, possibly go 9-0. and Very impressed with them. But for the Missiles, you just rebound. Like I said, all your goals are still ahead of you. That's exactly right here. And one loss, you know, if you run the rest of the table here, you're still going to get a high seed here, and you're 8-1 and going into the playoffs here. And you relish the moment here if you can get back to play Amboy again. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's two, two great teams here. And I think potentially you saw state championship caliber teams here. Yep, I would say these are the two best teams I've seen in eight-man, but there's still Polo's going to have the, some to say of it, Ridgewood as well. Those are the top four, I would say, and St. Thomas Moore right in there as well. Going to be a very entertaining eight-man playoff, but, boy, I'm just real impressed by the Clippers here tonight. Yeah, and, you know, if you're Coach Robel here, hey, guess what? This is a great film to go take back and break down and figure out what we need to do to get a little bit better in every position, at every moment of the game, how do, how do we get better? And what is Amboy doing? Maybe you pick up a weakness after you play them head-to-head here because I think Amboy threw everything they had at Milledgeville. So, you know, it's a great film later down the road if you need to look at it. Yeah, two great wins here for Ridgewood, both on the road. That's the impressive part. They went down and beat Ridgewood, number four Ridgewood, last week 48-42, and then come here to Floyd Dow Field and knock off the missiles by a score of 32 to 20 is your final in this one as next week the Clippers still on the road three straight road games before they end with two home ones they go to AFC next week and the Missiles are back two road trips here for them they go to three and two Pawnee next Saturday and then the following Saturday at Decatur Lutheran before the ending with Bushnell Prairie City back at home here so good battle by the tonight by the Missiles, but a great eight-man football game here tonight, Mac, and great hats battle. off to the Clippers. Yeah, hats off to the Clippers, and a great battle between two really, really good teams here, and unfortunately, it's one of those games somebody has to lose, and tonight it just uh, happened to be the Missiles here, but uh, I think the good news is we talked about a little bit. They'll have the opportunity to possibly meet if they can. If both yep. teams continue winning. At some point, they're going to meet. We don't know where. We don't know where. Uh, but uh, it'll, it'll, it'll definitely be a classic if they do come meet again. Yep, tip our hat to the Clippers here tonight. Wish them luck the rest of the way. They're going to be a load. Like I said, they were number one for a reason. They returned everybody but one player. He was a key player last year, but Eddie Jones has just took over that offense, and they haven't missed a beat. So congratulations to the Clippers tonight as they get the win over the Missiles here, 32-20 to to go to 6-0 on the year. Other scores, Polo goes to 5-1 with a 64-0 victory over Decatur Unity Christian. Dakota gets their second win of the year over West Carroll, 48-0. Forreston knocks off Stockton, 22-8. And EPC gets their first win of the year, 40-15 over Aurora Central Catholic. And Lee win over Dupac by a score of 48-27. So that's going to wrap up our coverage. Yep, thank you for Mark McEmber. I'm Kyle Leach. Thank you for listening, and have a great night.
uh, live edition from Floyd Dobb Field here tonight, joined by head coach of the Millage Missiles, Jason Robel. And coach, these are the tough conversations after a loss tonight. You guys played number one versus number two. Great atmosphere here at Floyd Dobb Field. The biggest crowd I've seen in years. Yeah, it was a great atmosphere. Uh, it felt like the whole field was lined. Um, they witnessed a pretty good football game, too. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was fun. It felt like a big playoff game. And uh, just a little disappointed we didn't respond a little better on our end. Yep, the, the first quarter went as both these teams, high-octane offenses coming in, averaging 58 points a game and 0-0 zero, zero after the yeah. first quarter, just like everybody thought, right? Yeah, <laughs> we, we both had our chances. At, um, you know, we threw a pick in the end zone, and they, then we had a goal line standing against them. Uh, yeah, it just seemed that first quarter, a lot of running the ball. Uh, both teams were testing each other out. And, uh, yeah, I was pretty, uh, you know, pretty surprised that it was zeros after one. But uh, both good defenses, so that, that's, you know, yep. attributes that. First score of the game comes on a miscue. Your punt formation, you've had a couple problems with that. And the thing, they had some special teams errors as well uh, on that punt return after the safety so I think a lot of that is both these teams don't see a lot of punt formations that they maybe practice on yeah uh yeah we haven't we haven't had a punt much and I know uh uh we really wanted to go for it there but I wasn't confident at that point in the game um and yeah it felt like uh we, we didn't do a good job um blocking on our punt team and uh they had a nice rush and I, Dalton though made him in heads up play trying to bat that ball out so we didn't give up a touchdown and only gave up two so that was a heads up play there uh, but yeah, then then we uh, the ensuing uh, kick from the punt. We we decided to, or excuse me, from the safety, uh, we decided to punt it. And Dylan or Dalton, excuse me, actually uh, sort of shanked it, but it worked out in our favor. So we got the ball right back. Yep, a couple big plays here. We'll just talk about there. You guys score with like 118 left in that first half. Get it to eight to six. Don't get the two point conversion. So you're thinking, all right, got to score. You get the ball after half, but Amboy marches down the field in under a minute and a. Sh Fingernip, fingertip catcher by Leffelman. Um, yeah, got him down play. inside. The, Jones put it right there. A fullback doesn't make that catch very often. No, yeah, that was a great, great effort. Great ball. Um, our, our pressure was a little light there, and the quarterback did a nice job setting in the pocket and delivering that ball. So that was a, yeah, that was a huge play. I thought our coverage was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, uh, their quarterback just dropped the ball right there in the money, and uh, uh, they made a nice play. And that's going to happen. I tell the guys. Uh, hey, they're a good football team. We knew that coming in, and good football teams make plays, and it was just how we were going to respond there. Uh, yeah, and that, that's disappointing to go down uh, right there before halftime after we sort of clawed back into it. Yep, 16-6 to six you trail at the half, but you come out on fire in the third quarter. Nine to living good for 44 yards. Two-point conversion, no good. 16-12, to 12, you get another stop. Then Nye on a five-yard run just wills his way into the end zone. And all of a sudden, two-point conversion good. You have your first lead of the night at 20-16, to 16, and momentum on your side and then Welchel yeah, breaks I mean, a 56 yarder and that's the backbreaker right yeah there. it was uh, I thought we had grab momentum and uh, we had that stopped uh, we had I don't know two or three guys yeah. I felt like on them and they just didn't finish the tackle and give credit to the running back he, he fought to stay up kept good balance and we just didn't finish the play and uh, that was sort of my message after the game that hey we can learn from this um, and we just we just didn't make any many plays as we didn't do ourselves any favors, you know, big penalties, turnovers, and uh, not making tackles when we had opportunities. So you fall 32 to 20. Now it's, like I said, a loss you can re learn a lot from in this one. I know you didn't want to lose it here at Floyd Dobb Field, but impressive wins for Amboy. They go on the road, knock off Ridgewood and you guys. But now just time to regroup. Like I said, you battled, hung toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Regroup, you got uh, three games left, two long road trips. Next week you go to Pawnee. Talk about taking on the Indians next week down in Pawnee next Saturday. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, I told the guys after the game that tough game like this, you can learn uh, a lot about yourself and the team. And um, I think a lot of the things we did wrong were fixable mistakes. Um, you know, they have a good old line, and we knew that. And uh, we still hung in there with them. Uh, so we, we got to lick our wounds and uh, fix the things we can fix and hopefully right the ship after a big, long uh, road trip. Uh, I, I haven't watched too much on Pawnee, um, but I know they have a, a big squad, and they have lots of kids in the, in the program. And uh, a couple, a little bit of clips I've seen on film is they have a pretty nice size O-line, and um, they, they run the ball pretty effectively. So we're going to have to uh, uh, make sure that we do a better job assignment football because there was a couple times a day we didn't do our assignments, nor did we get a line properly pre-snap. So those are little things we can fix moving forward. Yep, so tough loss here tonight. You fall to four or five and one on the year. Go to Pawnee next Saturday. But like I said, learn from it, and all the big goals are still ahead of this team. That's one thing you got to refocus and shift to that. Exactly. Uh, uh, before the polo game and uh, also this game, 
I, I made a message to the kids on Thursday that uh, neither of those games are going to define our seasons. Uh, they're, you know, whether you win or lose, you, you win, you beat Polo, and that's great, but that's not season defining. And we lose this one tonight in a tough one. It's not going to define our season. Uh, so hopefully the kids take that to heart. Um, it, you know, it's disappointing. Uh, to, to you had this game circled and to come up a little short, and especially disappointing when you don't maybe perform as your best. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll learn learn from it and continue to get better. All right. Well, thanks for jumping on with me here tonight, Coach, and good luck next Saturday, one o'clock at Pawnee. We'll be live there to cover it on the YouTube stream as well. So good luck next Saturday, Coach. All right. Thank you so much for the coverage. All right. That's head coach of the Missiles, Jason Robel. The Missiles fall tonight to Amboy, thirty-two to twenty. And thank you for listening to the Coaches Show. We'll be back after these short words from our sponsors.